Okay, um, I'm just going to just get started with what happened last game, and hopefully Cam is awake or hasn't fallen asleep again. Okay, in the last game, uh, you guys went to Lady Rika, to her estate. Actually, it was a little easier than you thought it would be uh, once you had presented information that or suggested that you had information that would I'm muted I'm an idiot okay we're, I'm just gonna get started with explanation <laughs> <laughs> and I was like why isn't anybody saying anything anyways I'm gonna get started with explanations hopefully Cam has not fall, fallen asleep again and he will show up at some point okay you guys went to Lady Rika in Corral to see if she uh, would help or had any, any information on what was going on in the city uh, regarding the infiltration of the Order of the Eternal Flame. Uh, once it was actually rather easy getting in, uh, you guys went, said you had information on this, she saw you. Uh, she had her own suspicions as well, and had asked if you would be able to do some um, reconnaissance uh, for her. She gave you information on there being a house uh, between the docks and slum district, which may be being used for a shady meeting place for those that are had infiltrated the Eternal Flame. Also, she had mentioned that there was a strange woman named Jan who had recently became an acolyte not too long ago, but was exhibiting some very odd behavior uh, coming from Killia, um, coming from Lady Rika's own network. Um, you guys found the establishment. Uh, and it just so happened that Jan was actually one of the individuals that was meeting at the meeting house that day. Um, Ramus infiltrated the home and after shanking a guard at the door, snuck into the basement and saw that there was some really odd worshipping ceremonies going on, cat sacrificing, uh, that kind of thing. You guys, after Jan had revealed that she had horns, you decided it's time to go in. Um, then there a fight ensued where the idol that the individuals were worshipping had been alive apparently and was not allowing Kasov and Kevmorn to use their abilities. Um, Jan turned out to be some kind of succubus and during the fight disappeared and teleported away somehow. So she's MIA currently. Um, you guys after fighting had checked out the room and after being unstuck by mimics that were in the room, had... Duh, 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 duh. Yep. You had discovered some loot, including an eye of an Aranus, uh, which would allow the person that put the eye in place of their original to gain 60 feet of true sight, however, turning the individual's alignment to lawful evil. Um, you found a shield of missile attraction, which is currently cursed. And you also found a tome of understanding, um, which was agreed upon that Kassoff would read it. And then as, um, and then Winna would keep it for about a hundred years and read it herself. Um, so as far as I re recall, you guys are still in the vicinity of the house. Um, yes. yes. What was, what did you guys want to do? Like, where did you want to head first? I was about to say something when we ended last time. So I'm going to 
do it now because Killer just put the eye in his pocket. Yes. When we was discussing it. Right. Then I walked up to him. And then I look him in the eyes and I say, we can discuss this later, but it will be the group's decision, not your decision. Do you agree? And I look deep into his eyes. Uh, no, this is about family. And we said that we would talk to uh, my niece first. No, no, we didn't. We said we haven't decided yet what we will do. It will be up to the group to decide what happens to the eye. If you're going to take it to your niece or not, it will be up to the group, not your decision. Oh, I, so, I out of game. I thought I, I thought we had decided that. Um. Well, out of game. I thought we didn't decide it. So okay. Uh, I have. Then... Uh, Kilroy has decided to give the eye to niece. Might have to leave group. <laughs> written in my notes. I think you do. I might have decided that. Yeah. But oh, okay. I think we did. Uh, unless can someone remember? Did, did we decide this? I thought it's still a discussion. Yeah, it was still in discussion. And, uh, yeah, I think it was too. Yeah, I believe it was still in discussion. Okay, I thought we were actually, uh, like, first up was ta uh, talking to her and asking if she's actually lawful evil already. We could, yeah, we, we, yeah, I think we were saying oh, we could talk, to, we could talk to her. Establish. Yeah, we could talk to her to, <clears throat> to see if it's a good idea with her, and then the group could talk it over as well. But do you, do you guys want to <clears throat> do you want to ask her or is or is presenting it to her too much? Like even even pre even presenting her with the option would be too much for us to do. What do you what do you think? I think it's a horrible idea. I think it should still be her choice, though. I think we can investigate how her, her alignment is, I guess. Uh, I think it's a horrible idea and we should not do this, even if she wants to. But I am okay with being voted down. And then I look Killory deep into the eyes again. Are you okay with being voted down? We, we can cross that bridge when we get to it. She might not even want it. Remember, if you do decide to go against this, there will be consequences. And we will not be friends as you wished us to be. I understand. All right, let's get going. We shouldn't stay here, I think. It's kind of bad place. Okay. Um, I guess we should report first that our reconnaissance has a bit failed because we actually did destroy this place. Or is well, it just us? We didn't fail. We killed everybody <laughs> inside and as a result kind of took everything of relevance. Well, yeah, it's debatable, I guess. Well, didn't didn't one one person of relevance get away? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. The the demon host. The important one got away. Shit. Yeah, we should probably tell her soon then. Or it like <laughs> teleports into her room and tries to kill her or something. Yeah. Assuming yeah. that hasn't already happened. Assuming this, yes. Well, let's get going then. She right. had that good doggo, though. He'll save her. What right. was his name? Uh, rugby, right? Yeah, Rugby yeah. was rugby his name. Was he, was, uh, he was a uh, ma uh, Mastiff, I believe. Cool. Okay. Um, so you guys head back uh, to Lady Rika's abode. And when you get there, the guards let you through. They you know, have seen you before earlier. So there's no need to check in. Um, but they do casually mention that Lady Rika is currently still, well, is again in her office. So you guys go through. Um, Lady Rika is at her desk currently. Um, Rugby is by her side. 
uh, just kind of lounging around, lounging in front of the desk. She looks like she's currently has her attention in a very thick um, black leather tome. And when you guys oh, go into her, walk into her office and knock on the door, she is looks actually surprised that you guys are back so quickly. And she says, well, this is a surprise. Uh, what do you, do you have anything new to report? Yes, <clears throat> it was actually a lot worse than we first thought. It's not just a meeting place. It was actually a ritual chamber. Okay. Um, so... And we took, we took the quick actions to go in and clean it, to cleanse it. Okay, so you cleansed it. I see. Um... Did you uh, what... encounter Jan at all? Yes, and she turns out to be some form of demon. Uh -huh. And she, but she uh, unfortunately she was um, able to flee to use some portal of some sort before we could apprehend or destroy her. She was the only survivor. I see. Um, are the bodies still in the meeting house? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, so okay. we can at least, I might be able to get a cleric uh, that's not associated with the Eternal Flame and maybe perform some Speak With Dead rituals on them. See what they, they actually know and I can, you know, give you that information once I find if there's anything new about that. So Jan got away. Um, was there anything else in the meeting house or before I send my own guard to take a look at it. Is there anything that we should be careful about while we're there? There was that statue. Oh. She's like, a statue? A moving one. Okay. I, I might send a cleric actually with them. Moving statue. Okay, Castle, statue. didn't you say that it affected you somehow? Yeah, it was a it was a very powerful statue. It it actually made me question my faith, even after so many years of of being a being completely devoted to Ayun. Multiple cl clerics. Uh, I will. I will send multiple <laughs> clerics. Good note. Yes. Um, how we, and, all right, so there's a moving statue, Jan is some kind of demon creature, I didn't expect that, but that doesn't actually surprise me, given that what we are dealing with, um, it's a ritual chamber, did you find anything else of note that could perhaps help us out? individuals of the eternal flame I don't know if it's relevant but they were mixed there uh -huh. and the, uh, one thing they sacrificed the cat as well sacrificed a cat okay a cat animal sacrifice I will put note that down um, let the clerics of cord know about that. Um, there's a cord. Okay. Um, there is one more thing if you decide you want to pursue this further. Um, that these individuals might have more information on what's going on. You're fairly new to the city. You haven't even been here for maybe have you been here at least for a week or have you been here less than a week probably a couple of days we only had a couple of days to spend here I think. Oh. so you wouldn't know about the the rebellion then off game haven't we been in the city less than a day yeah maybe a day at most day at okay. most okay then at least you should know about this group. Um, they call themselves the Drowners. Uh, they are a renegade network 
currently trying to hinder the Order of the Eternal Flame. Um, they are a group of half, m consisting mostly of half elven, non human uh, usurpers. Usually, I wouldn't suggest something like this uh, because, well, they're, and she kind of tries to, seems tries to put in the most polite way, you know, non human filth. But she doesn't say non human filth. <laughs> um, the drowners. They are the drowners. Um, they have been more active recently, um, from the reports I have been gathering. Uh, their network consists of usually employing beggars, urchins, and there's rumor that their leader and their headquarters is in the sewage system that runs beneath Corel. Other than that, I don't have too much other information on them. Um, rumor has it they're being led by a tiefling, of all things. Um, a tiefling with powerful, unusual magics. I know they've been trying to gather whatever information they can on the flame, whether it be um, information that can help them strategically against the flame or to try to intercept their next burning victim. I know that in the past year, maybe they have, and she puts in quote, saved a few that were destined for the burning pyre. Um, usually when the person is saved, they're not seen again. Um, I assume they try to smuggle them out of the town or whatnot. So they might have more information on the, on the Eternal Flame. For now, I will send guards and clerics to investigate the meeting house and let you know if I find anything that's relevant. Okay. Okay. If that is all, then I apologize for trying to push you, well, hurrying this meeting because now that I have disinformation, I need to mobilize the clerics or pretty much make sure the clerics I have in my employ do not harbor any bias for the Church of the Eternal Flame. So if you could see yourselves out, please. I turn around and start walking. Okay. Yep. Of course. Good luck. Sure, I'll I'll get going. Oh. All everybody. Okay. Um well no, before you leave, um rugby actually kind of tr trots in front of you, you know, tail wagging a little bit. And he he plants himself in front in front of you, just you know, sits and he just looks up at you expectantly. It looks like he has something in his mouth. Alright. I cast speak with animals. Okay. What is it by? Um he says when when you you left, something funny here. Um, this smelled very funny. Um, want to give? Not sure what is. It looks like hair, but smells weird. Okay. I, in front of everyone, shape shifts into a dog. Okay. Um, 
Lady Rika is a little taken back by it, but she, you know, she's seen shape shifting before, so she's not. It's divine magic, so she's not really too perturbed. Um, when you shape shift his dog, he drops what was in his mouth. It looks like he had picked up. It looks like a hair tie, um, but and there's strands of red hair around the hair tie. Okay, I smell it. Okay, it smells like it smells a little slightly of sulfur, and it also smells um, like like a little charred the hair tie itself. Okay, where where did you find it exactly? He he says to you, um, rugby finds hair tie in yard, and he trots over to the window and he gets on his hind paws, and he and he says bye. And in the back, you see there is this kind of um, uh, aloe vera type plant in the yard, um, a very large one. And he says, um, I. F- uh, rugby found it there. Um, was digging up old bone for, for consumption, and was nearby. Doesn't smell like anything. Rugby smelled before at the house. You've been a good boy with rugby, and I turn it back into human and like pat him a bit. Mm. Rugby kind of leads into you as you're like giving him pats. And then I turn to, what was her name again? Lady? Lady Rika. Yeah. Uh, by the way, um, Winnell knows right a uh, demons and sulfur goes in hand. Yeah, usually burning yeah. and sulfur goes in hand. You, 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 Your group has fought enough of them to make that assumption. Yeah. Then I turn to Lady Rika and say, uh, by those plants over there, r- rugby found uh, smells of sulfur. So there's been demon activities this close. Lady Rika says, um, when did he, f- did you ask him when he found it? Yeah, today. I just double check with rugby. Like, rugby today, right? Rugby's like, today, n- not too long after you left. Okay. Um, he, 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 I... it's hard for him to kind of discern time. In yeah, in dogs sense. is yeah. terrible at it. Yeah, ter- yeah, dogs are really bad at keeping time. <laughs> Yeah, I turn back to uh, turn back to Lady Rick and say, "Well, he's a dog, so he's bad with time. But somewhere from we left to now, he thinks it's close to when we left." Rika's like, "Damn it! Okay, um, I'm going to increase the guard um, after you leave, and." And, she, you know, she scratches Rugby's ear and, you know, from her pockets gives him, like, a, a piece of dry jerky and he eats it very happily. Good boy. Um, all right, I'll increase the guard. I might actually take my findings and go to a temple of cord, maybe for a little while. And she says, if you need to find me after this, um, I plan on taking a few personal guard with me and maybe say I'm praying and fasting in the meantime to other people. Um, I'll be staying there. Um, if you found, if you found that so close to after you left, then whoever's behind us might be onto something, so... Um, I'll be at the um, the pillar of strength if you need me in the meantime, while I right. gather individuals to research to go to the house and take a look what they can find. I actually take out the paper and scribble a thing on it, and then I hold it up for Lady Rika and I say, and I, the note says kind of shortly. The dog is hyper intelligent to collect this form of evidence and bring it to me specifically. Either he likes me a very a lot, or the dog is not the dog. And then I put the, the, the note down and I like scrabble it in. Okay. Yes, yes, so you know. Understood. Understood. Um... Um, does she seem surprised at all by the revelation of demon hair? Um... Roll an insight check. 
Okay. Um, she seems not so much surprised. She does seem more concerned at this point. I'm really concerned. Um, um, kind of surprised that the sanctity of her home has been invaded already. Um, so soon that she had told you about all of this happening. Um, you got the feeling that she feels more uns like very unsafe at this point. And you mo you see that she's actually, while she's talking to you, she's been, you know, multitasking, gathering books about, you know, trying to separate what's really important, what's not important to take with her. Yeah, she seems, she's a little rattled, but less surprised, more rattled. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so we will be leaving now. You know how to find us? Um, I actually do not. Um, do you, and she kind of writes a note down and hands it to you. There's there's actually a name on the note, and the name is uh, Mikel, and the there is a place on the note as well. It is the, and I have to go back to my list of inns. Uh, there we go. Um, and under it, it's the skittering haunt, and she says if you need to get a message to me well in the meantime but can't get to the pillar of strength let him know he is um a contact i've had for a long time okay so i'll i'll, I'll type it down we live at the dragon or what was it called uh the dragon's nest yeah that's it okay All right, so I'll leave. She, I'll um, I'll probably won't be here by the end of the day. Um, so good luck on your search, and keep me posted. And I'll be. And she kind of her eyes dart quickly around the room, falls on rugby for a moment or two, and then back to you. I'll be a little more aware of my surroundings in the meantime, or try to be. Good luck. Sounds good. <laughs> you too. And then I turn around and walk. Okay. Yeah. Right. All right. So you guys head out of the uh, of the house. Um, I assume that. Uh, Kilia is on the next, uh, is the next stop, or, or do you guys want to stop before then? For somewhere else before then? Ramus doesn't have anywhere to stop. Okay. I don't know either. Alright. Um, so you guys head to Kilia's home between the slums and the dock district. Um, it seems quite normal. It hasn't really changed since you left, since it's only been like less than a day since you've seen her. Um, you, you know, knock on the door and there is a, just a minute, oh, it's some shuffling and when you open, when the door opens, Kilia is there. She looks like she was in the middle of making something to eat. She has some um, some flour in on her front, and she says, "Oh, you're back. Um, need something?" Remus never 
probably a bit. Uncle? Um, <laughs> y- yes, uh, we uh, we have something that might um that might give you vision. She uh, looks a little taken back by. It. Pardon? We we have something that might give you vision. Okay. Uh, why why don't you come inside? Um, she just you know steps out of the way and you know allows you all to come inside. Like. And, you know, as as you walk in and she closes the door behind her, like, eyesight vision? Yes. For the record, I think it's a bad idea. Me too. <laughs> wow. Well, um, I, I'd like to hear about it first. Um, is this kind of an experimental ritual are we talking about here, or...? Have you heard of an Aranese? Um. They are, from what I've heard, very beautiful devil creatures. So, yes, I've heard of them. What about them? What, well, what, what does this have to do with eyesight? <laughs> she looks a li- like, she looks past you, but she, her, her, the expression on her face has turned to one of, like, concern well if if a person inserts you're not evil are you are you evil it's okay if you're evil. <laughs> she, she she her eyes blink like her pale eyes blink um i don't consider myself an evil person See, I, that's like, what they all say. Hillary <laughs> actually like, looks a little disappointed. <laughs> Just because it feels he feels like he could have won the argument if he, she was evil. <laughs> Why do you want her to be evil? I mean, there's nothing wrong with evil. Uh, well, this eye gives you vision if you sh- put it in your head, but it does turn you evil. She she's a little confused and she's like, okay, let me get this straight. You have an eye. So I would have to take out one of my eyes? Is that how it just works? Yep, I, that's right. Yes. I yep. would so I would have to rip out my eye. You don't have to rip it out. You can have it surgically removed. Okay. I would have to s- remove my <laughs> eye. <laughs> and but then- you'd have a better eye that actually works and lets you do chronomancy. Like, what's the problem? That would turn me evil. I mean, did you did you take this eye out of an earness? Well, not personally, no. Neither did any of us. Nope, we found it. You found it. You found an eye. A functioning eye. Where did you find this eye? It tried to stare at us. It was really creepy. It, it was in it's an evil altar. It's not really important how it, we came to the eye. Did you I say an evil altar? <laughs> I'm yes. just saying. You'd have vision. You could be a chronomancer. Let's and... not drop the lead here. Right, true. Now, knowledge, knowledge of knowledge of spell casting and stuff could be worth it. <laughs> but it would turn evil. And you would probably do horrible things to the world for gaining power. I don't like that part. I don't like that part she just said. <laughs> um, she doesn't know what she's talking about. It's <laughs> if you're evil, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to destroy the world. Uh, no, there's a lot of worse things you can do. Okay, hypothetically, if I turned evil. I might want to kill you guys. That Why would you want to kill me? I just gave you chronomancy. Also, who would train you? That's not very thinking very logical. You'd have You're to keep me around until brother. like you you know how much like how to do I mean, at least evil. my level. Yeah, yeah, evil, evil, evil might mean might okay, mean different things for different people. 
it does not mean chaotic. Yeah, it's an you ordered still, evil. You can still so... make decisions. You make this sound so good, Uncle Kilroy. <laughs> so good. She <laughs> is a like regular that. charmer. She says okay. No one can know what exactly will happen if you turn evil. Right. But the thing no is, the, the most things people do when they're evil is that they use other people to gain more power. Yes. And exactly how vile that will be will be hard to s discern, but it can go from mildly to severely. I don't know if you want to have a possibility of killing children to get power, because evil people can do that. And then I look at Kilroy. I don't like the notion of killing children. <laughs> yeah, you might be faced with dilemmas like that, um, moral dilemmas like that every day. Possibly. She, she... But you could see the answer clearly. Can it's a I... dilemma. She, she, she throws her... Can I, um... Can I hold the eye for a moment? I, I, don't, I don't want to put it in my head. Why would can... you want to hold the eye? Um, so, she says... I have an ability that my order has taught me. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Use that ability. Just change all their minds. Say it's a good idea to put in the eye. That, this is a good one. That, that, that's, not, that, that's not the ability I was talking about. I, I don't think the eye... I hope this eye isn't sentient. That would be horrible. Is she talking about her mind-changing ability? Uh, she doesn't seem to be talking about her mind-changing ability. I'll again look disappointed. Okay. Um, I have to, hold on, I have to get the exact ability on this sheet. That ability she's talking about is, yeah, that's it. Um, so many pages on Mystic. Mm, 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 mm. There we go. Um, she has the ability, the ability to study, and she says she has the ability to study an item for a, a little bit to see what kind of sense she can get from it. It's kind of like an object recognition ability she she explains i just want to get a feel for this <laughs> i'm not gonna put it in my head and if i start putting it in my head please grab me yes <laughs> please take this thing away from me <laughs> all right i will pass her the eye okay so she she cups the eye in her hand you see there is a slight purple glow that, you know, emanates from her body and kind of travels down her arms, down her, into her hands, hands and around the, the item. And she, she says, hmm, well, it's definitely evil. It's super evil. Uh, yep. Yep, very evil, like you said. And... And... She cups the eye in her left hand. And she... Raises her, index, her right index finger, traces the top of the eye, and her right index finger starts going away from the eye. And with her index finger and th right thumb, it looks like she's holding what seems like a piece of string. It looks like it, but you don't see a piece of string. And then she looks like her, her head turns and her... Her hand keeps on going in a particular direction. You said you didn't 
you said you found it. Yeah. You said you didn't take this out of anything, right? And at this point, yes. she she's like speaking very. She sounds really worried. We found, we found this in a box. Oh shit! Uh -oh. shit! Shit! You guys gotta get out of here right now. Uh oh, I grab it. Yeah, you 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 guys have to put this thing in like a lead box. Get this out right now. I I, 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 I. What's going on? And uh, there's there's no time to explain. And I need everybody to roll a perception check. Oh. Oh, I don't see it. Um, for Kil the user coming for his eye. Yeah, the Kilroy and Wino, the air starts to grow very hot. Like the humidity has in has spiked. Um, in in the short in the short time that she was examining this eye. Oh shit! She's she says, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! And there is a very, like, loud knock on the door. And everybody can hear this at this point. And she says, shit, um, you got, you guys, hide, 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 quick, 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 quick. Um, hold on, let me... I cast Pass Without Trace. Okay. I don't know. I, I, yeah, that's what Pass Without Trace. I don't know if we still have that. It only lasts for ten minutes, so she would have to recast it again. It's um, actually an hour. An but hour? Yeah, I, yeah it's probably yeah. been more than an hour. All right. Well, I hide. Okay. I still get a twenty-seven with the uh, without pass without trace. So. Okay. Um. So, this is her little modest house. Um. Hold on. And I will put your tokens on the map. And you guys decide where you want to hide. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I want to hide. Oh, hi, right. can I cast off? Um, <laughs> hide the table near the door. Okay. Um, this map is not to scale. I took the grid off because it wasn't matching with the other grids. So just count squares for now. Um, Ke uh, Kevin Warren's like, ah, I'll be in the bedroom. I'm, I'm gonna, go I'm not gonna. Do this. <laughs> He's gonna like, gonna take a nap. He's like, um, uh, can, can I, can I just close the door to your bedroom because I'm not good at this Zero. hiding thing. Zero um, fucks given. Um, and you know, just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Just, just go, just go quick. Um. So, for those who are hiding, I need you to roll stealth checks, and I will do so for Kevmorn as well. Um, as he, like, literally just rushes towards the clo like the bedroom and just shuts the door behind him. Let's see how quietly he does this. Uh, Is it a table or a box I am placed on now? Uh, that's a... that's a table. That's a table. So... Then I'm under the table. Okay, you're under the table. Alright, so I'm gonna roll for... Is stealth. Oh wow, she actually rolled pretty well. Yeah, he's he yeah, he actually like minus one and seventeen. He yeah he made he, he he's good he's good he's rather. Yeah, plus ten as well. Yeah, so twenty six, like... uh, twenty nine, forty. So a lot. You're on the table. Um, Kilroy, did you uh roll a uh, stealth? I did no? not. Okay, are you not stealthing? I am confused and want to help her make sure and not going to hide. Okay, okay. that's fine. Oh, that's, no. <laughs> that's fine. Um, so what your character, what your character would do. Would do. Uh, when you guys hide and she she looks back at you, Kilroy, for a minute, it's like, <sighs> okay. Um, she opens a door and there is... A group of five members of the Eternal Flame right outside her door. 
Um, they are all heavily armored. Uh, they all have weapons, uh, mostly carrying uh, two-handed weapons like large great swords, and a few two of them have uh, shields and long swords. I'll actually put them on the map. And they say to uh, Kilia, um, "We have gotten reports of unauthorized magical activity." at your establishment. Um, we would like, we insist that we come in and inspect your home for any unauthorized activity. And Kilia glances at you, Kilwar, very briefly and says, um, I'm sorry, sir. I, I, I don't, she, she looks, she looks, she looks like she's acting confused. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Um, she, and she kind of just visibly swells. I, I'm sure this is all a misunderstanding. And before she says anything, um, the the person she's talking to, the blonde, uh, attempts to shove his way into the house. So I need to make a... Where are my dice? Um, one second. All right, sorry about that. Um... <laughs> all right, um, all right. So she is going to attempt to shove her out of the out of the way, um, or just deeper into the house. That is his check. That is her check. All right, he just pushes past her. Um, into the house. And... I want to drink a potion. Okay, you can do so. Um, I, I drink a potion of mind reading. Okay. Uh, Kira, you just see this armored individual just shove uh, Kilia to the side and enter the house. I'm going to move towards Kilia to make sure that she's okay. Okay. And be like, uh, why are you shoving my niece? Mm -hmm. And the uh, the armored individual just says, "This is your niece." Yes. Um, are you aware that she has been report reported that she is practicing uh, illegal magical activity in this abode? And he he briefly you know takes out a um, scroll. He opens it up. There there looks like there's a seal at the bottom of it. That looks like of the eternal uh flame and says, I need to inspect this house for illegal activity. And your niece wasn't complying. And you see that uh, Kilia shoots like a really like hateful look in his direction, like kind of gritting her teeth at this point. <clears throat> well, she just entered the door. Can I see that, please? I assume that is uh, a writ or warrant for... 
investigating. Um, he hands you the the writ. Um, it's pretty much a warrant. Uh, you you just briefly scan it. It's pretty much a warrant to, for allowing them to issued by the town to allow them to search the house. All right, thank you. Uh, that seems to be in order. Uh, what, what, where, who gave you these reports, if you don't mind me asking? Or was it just uh, uh, detected by some sort of magic? Um, the reports, the order came from High Inquisitor Manic himself. Um, oh, so very, very serious. Very, things. very serious. So if you would step aside, young man. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, sorry, I don't mean to be in your way. Um, what so, does my potion of mind reading say here? Are they speaking the truth or are they having a vile um, intent? Um, your potion of mind reading. Um, th this is the one that is like the detect thoughts spell pretty much, is it? Uh, I'm not sure. It was so long time ago I got it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it should be. All right, let me just take a look at the potion um, of that's clairvoyance. I am focusing in the to, to see if these are corrupted or pure. Right. Are you focusing on the one that was talking to uh, Kilia in in particular? It's like the detect thought spell, pretty much the potion of my reading. Yeah, yeah. I focus on the one who spoke first, but I will. Whatever I find there, I will go to the next. There might be some of them being corrupted and some of them being truthful. Right. All right. Um... Or all are corrupted and then bad things will happen. Then bad things, terrible things would happen. All right. Detect thought. Um, we see a huge intelligent creature. Um... Uh, you shift your attention. So, surface thoughts you are getting right now is um, a strong feeling of duty and a strong feeling of protection um, and a strong feeling of righteousness. Um, if you want to probe deeper, um... He needs to save, and DC is 13. So, however, if you do, and you would know this from drinking the potion, if you do decide to probe deeper, and he does save his wisdom saving throw, he might have an inkling something's happening. Okay, I will go to the next person and see if everyone is doing this at duty and justice and stuff like that. All right, so... Um, Righteousness is a good sign yeah. <laughs> that there might be good. Uh, he's o he's okay. He's okay. He's okay. She. This person, this one right here. Yeah. Is emanating a lot of hate right now. Um. Who has the eye? Uh, it's in my bag of holding. holding. All right. All right. Um, so that's technically extra planar. So yeah. So she's um, this one is looking around her like she she's looking for something, um, but can't seem to place uh, you know settle on the place, and she is radiating like extreme hatred and just this really strong malice that you've never encountered before. Um, the guy in the back is, the, the woman in the back is also uh, exuding um, righteousness and, you know, protection and all that. So the one I've designated the purple dot is the is the one you're getting the strong feelings of malice from. I memorize her, how she looks like, all and right. stuff like that, during um, this encounter. Yep. She is a woman with she looks rather plain, uh, plain, tall, um, not really any distinguishable features on her face, brown eyes, freckles. Um, uh, and Kilia is, you know, Kilia is, is okay. She was just shoved out of the way, but she's just eyeing a group of people with extreme 
prejudice right now. Um, when I'll make a a perception check. All right. Um, out of the, you could see that. Um, you could see a little bit of Kevmorn, like just peeking out through the door, and he is trying to get your, like he's waving his hands in front of his face, trying to get your attention, and he's, y you see, he's trying to mouth something to in in toward to you. Yeah. I read his lips. All right, he says, D "There is someone very, very. E there is something very evil here, <laughs> like so evil, like very evil. Like it's, um, it looks like he is having a really hard time. Like he's, he looks like he's trying to like cover his nose because like it smells, like he's using his divine sense." to detect evil and it's there's something really bad in here um he's just conv he's conveying that to you yeah i convey back simply just i know mm -hmm. i mouth that maybe you can read that mm -hmm. maybe you can read that <clears throat> you're not sure um okay so they start looking around the house uh this individual goes to the fireplace um this individual goes over to this table uh this individual starts making his way to the storeroom and this individual starts um going off to the side towards that little kitchen area that starts rummaging around um Kilia has at this point moved herself to the center of the room, um, yeah. near near the bedroom. Kind of uh, just I, a little nervous. I I wonder a thing. Uh, when I turn into an animal, if I have speak animals activated the spell, mm -hmm. can I um, talk in human speech then? Huh. I've never had somebody ask me that. Um I mean technically people are animals, but I'm gonna make the assumption that wizards has uh let's see, speak with animals. It's beasts. It's it's beasts, so I assume not. Because humans are classified as humanoids and beasts are beasts. Yeah. Yeah, I assume not. So it specifically uh, says beasts. If it said animals, I may have given it to you because humans are animals technically. Okay, I have an idea. Uh, I scribble down, if I can, mm -hmm. very fast um, to, to make it short. Like, ask them to detect evil on the note. Okay. Um, and then I turn into a cat. Okay. Um, Kilia says to um, the individual who's searching um, near the fireplace, um, if, uh, I mean, you could uh, use your divine senses and perhaps pinpoint the source of the evil you think you're trying to find? Um, is this before or after I turn into a cat? Um, this is this is probably as you're turning into a cat. Um, so a little after. Okay. Um, okay. Then I still stay under the table. Okay. Um, the... Person at the stove looks at her and says, um, very inquisitively, and says, "You're. You seem like you're hiding something, Miss." She, 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 she was really nervous when she was trying to say 
say that to her, to her, him. Um, and she's like, oh, crap. And it's like, it goes back to his searching. Um, but at that point, the, the woman in the corner eyes her very suspiciously. And it seems like Kilia can kind of feel her eyes on her, and she kind of, like, takes a step closer towards the bedroom. Kilroy, are you doing anything while this all this searching is happening? They're just ripping this place apart at this point. Uh, no, I just let them do their job. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I take up the, no the note that left on the floor in my mouth. Okay. But I try to hide it that I'm having it in my mouth. Okay. And then I walk over to Kilroy. Okay. Um, there is a cat, Kilroy, that kind of trots over to you. I will uh, look to Rumor. He's a he's a pseudo dragon now, right? Yeah. Okay. He kind of he looks. Uh, he kind of he looks at he looks at you um, inquisitively. Uh, like, look at him, kind of, like, what's what's going on? Then, like, oh wait, and then I will pick up uh the note. I'm used to bigger cats. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Uh, I I'll pick up the cat and like if I see the note, I will take the note out of the the cat's mouth. Yeah, you. Can, yeah. I mean, she'll she'll probably show you. I assume. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll, and I'll like turn to the guards and be like, uh, I don't mean to uh, presume. Uh, how to conduct your warrant, but isn't there a thing you can do where you can uh, detect uh, detect like evil? Roll a persuasion check. All right, I'm not going to be very persuasive. Um. Yes, actually. Um, she's uh, the 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 person right behind me. Actually, has that ability, and she points towards the one that was radiating hate and malice. <laughs> ah, oh fuck! Oh, uh, could you do that then? Um, the person that was radiating hate and malice looks at you, closes her eyes, and with a very wicked grin um, points over to Kilia and says, you know, she isn't what she seems. I think we have to take her in. Uh, sorry, for, for why? But if she isn't what she seems, she, no, she's, she's a human. Um, the other, the other the other individuals, when they hear uh, the woman say this, they actually turn in, at Kil in uh, Kilia's direction. And Kilia's like, oh, shit. <laughs> um, this individual right behind her is going to attempt to grapple her. And then Kilia is going to <laughs> not like that at all. She turns to you very briefly, Carol, and says, I'm sorry, uncle. And... Uh -oh. Yeah. She has activates her ability. Uh, da -da 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 my mind... I can write weapon, clean up munitions, not restoration. Ah, so many pages. Here we go. Um, psychic assault. There we go. I'm d I'm just confirming. I didn't know that the the person who like scanned her was radiating hate mouse because I I no, you had that. no idea. No. Exactly. So I'll be like, if you were evil, why didn't you say so earlier? <laughs> 
Um... Jag fläser till Kilo. Sen tittar jag på vet du, hon, vakten som vet du, uh, ja. Radiator Evil. All right. You see there is this very large purple wave of energy coming from Kelia and she just unleashes it towards um towards this woman's direction um not harming you or uh, Kassoff and does she save that is the question Da, 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 da. Just out of curiosity, does any of our does anybody have like dispel magic or anything? I do. Excellent. Plus two. That is a sixteen. Her save is actually that would her modifier is intelligence. So that would put her at. Yeah, so she does. She fails, um, and she slams into the table behind her, taking five d eight psychic damage. The dart was attempting to grapple uh, Kilia. No, the the woman oh, that was uh, right next to Ramis. Um, she just unleashes this attack on her. Um, and at that point, all the guards attempt to, the rest of the guards try to um, move in her direction. Um, I would um, like I everybody like... Roll to roll initiative. <laughs> yeah. Could I oh, I'm fast. Bother, Good. bother you to grab my pog from the, like the old map? Because I my spells I don't know if my spells are updated. Oh okay, that's no problem. Um I would, I would want, want that too as well. Okay. Uh yep, got it. Spells. Uh, what are spells? You have a spell, it's called resources? knife. <laughs> I have a spell, it's called sneak attack with a short bow. there um so she takes whew, she takes 14 16 18 points of psychic damage and she goes into a fury oh shit all right um all right so everybody else i'm gonna roll for kevmorn Kevin Moore's like, crap. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. Um, the woman will go at... Yeah, when all in Kora's initiative's kind of vanished. I just re-roll and edit it so it becomes right. 25. It's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. <laughs> And then they will go at mm. Hold on. Where's the stats for the there we go. Okay. Um, plus zero. All right, so they go at 13. Wait, is the spell magic the same as counterspell or different? I assume different, right? It's different. It's a little different. I, never mind. I do not have to spell magic. I thought I did. We have three spell casts. Three full I have, casts. I have, I have the spell magic. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I have it, but I haven't it prepared, so... Great. Did Druids have to prepare? Yes. Yeah. Druids have to prepare. Yeah, I actually luckily did have it prepared. Hey, okay, that's right. good. Um, oh, and Kilia, of course. Okay, she is not going anytime soon. 
Oh, sorry. I can re-roll my initiative? Yeah, if you yeah, don't remember you don't what it was. Uh, 12. Okay. Just re-roll and edit it. Yeah. Just try not to blow our cover under the table. I'm going to dimensional shackle her as soon as I can. Yep. Bitch isn't getting away this time. All right. Um. Yep, well, no. You are a cat. <laughs> yeah, the cat jumps here and turns into Winil and shoots an arrow at uh, her. Okay. And the arrow we'll be using is the one that has this new poison I have. That if she goes to zero HP, she becomes paralyzed. Okay. So and alive. So first the shot to see if I hit her. Mm -hmm. I can use a lightning arrow for more wounds. Oh, that was a really good roll. All right, you do in fact hit and cause 18 points of damage on her person. Then DC 15 for 5d6. Oh, damn. Um, just looking up something real quick. If we kill her, I'm going to feel a little awkward. Uh, <laughs> That's why I want to use this poison, so she can't uh, die. She just gets paralyzed? Yeah. No, I meant like with this attack kills her somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be kind of. The cat did it. I'll I'll attack her non-lethally. Don't worry. There's no way that can go poorly. Well, I have said that I want her to become alive and stable, so I hope it's counted as being this non-lethal. So that's if the uh, that's the poison damage, the extra five d six. Yes, and the DC fifteen. Well, um, it doesn't look like the poison affected her. Okay. But she's still standing. She's still standing. She took like the lightning damage and the arrow damage, but she doesn't look like she's using. She um, she took the poison damage. Then I also want to scream something at mm -hmm. the other guards, and I point forward. You have all been deceived. She is the demon worshiper. All right. Um, Use your abilities, and you will see clearly. <laughs> and then and. Okay. Um, Ramus. All right, so Ramus is going to first off grab his dimensional shackles and attempt to use those on this woman. Okay. So, like, do I have to f get her both arms or? You would probably I, like, have to get both of her arms. Damn. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I want to try and shackle her because she's still on the table and dazed and confused from Kilia's psychic thing. Okay. So let's try and dimensional shackle her. All right, sounds good. What am I? Oh yeah, what, yeah. Are, what are you rolling? It doesn't really seem I don't to know. <laughs> um... like, you want me to try and grapple her for yeah, this? Yeah, you'd have to try to that? grapple her first, I assume, like grapple her hand. So we'll get okay. to do pose and grapple. Okay. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. okay. I have pretty good athletics. Yeah. Um her athletics is probably better. She has heavy armor. Yeah. Um that is a twenty-five. Fuck. Alright. Well, I fuck up that, but I'm still gonna stab her with my poison dagger. Okay, sounds good. Not lethally. Oh wow, I crit. Okay. Uh twenty so twenty damage. Um it doesn't look like the poison affects her. Right. Gotcha. Um that does that macro does not include crit. Um and I think it might be a sneak attack. No, it's the right sneak attack sneak attack dice. Um So a D four and four D six more. So seventeen more. Okay, seventeen, okay. so thirty seven in total. Yes. Okay, sounds good. 
Just let me get the shackles on her so she can't get away, and then we'll explain. <laughs> um, uh, one of the, uh, one of the warrior engines like, don't worry, Lieutenant, we got this. Um, all right, so this guy is going to try to attack Kilroy. Um, wait, what? <laughs> They're resisting arrest. Um, yeah. To be fair, we are. <laughs> I didn't. We are resisting resisting arrest. All right, so he is going to try to hit you with his long sword. Uh, that is a fifteen to hit. That is a miss. Okay. Uh, he is going to try to hit you again with his long sword. That's a seventeen to hit. 17 does hit. Okay. Um, so that is... D8. Uh, so that is 7 points of slashing damage. I'll like at, uh, I'll be like looking at him shocked as like he stabbed me. Yeah. They're like, what are you doing? Stop! <laughs> um, the other guy is going to try to hit Kilia. Um... It does hit. Oh, uh, so she will take 11. And then she doesn't, yeah, doesn't hit the second attack. Um, this guy is going to go towards, in Winnow's, well, turn around to Winnow's direction. Try to hit her twice. Um, both 16s, do those hit? Winnow? On me? Yes. No. No? Alright, so they both miss. And she went, she went. The guy across from you, Kiroi, is going to attempt to hit you twice. Uh, that's one. Uh, the other one is a 20. And that's nine points of slashing damage. Uh, you, you probably got a short rest. I mean, you were... You walked leisurely to the estate and stuff. Um, I don't mean to screw myself here, but his one, wouldn't he have an advantage because he's flanking? That's true. He rolled a six, so you're fine. Okay. Um, okay. And so, one, two, three, four. Yep, those are those guys. Um, the woman. Uh, who... Is there a thing with the initiative modifier, whoever, whatever your modifier is, that's who goes first in, in case of a tie? Right. She. Dex mod. Yeah, it's dex mod, and she has a higher dex mod than Kev Moore. Oh, I meant for, of my, myself as well. Oh, you? Uh, oh, you're right. You moved. Uh, what's your dexterity modifier? Uh, my dexterity mod modifier is a three. I don't know if the five from alertness or whatever. Uh... You and her go simultaneously then. She can go first then. Okay. Um, she is going to look at Kilia, and she is actually going to move in with her. So, actually, if you wanted to take the attack of opportunity. Um, Ramis, you can. She, because she's moving away from you. She doesn't know you're there. I will do that. Okay. Okay. But well, she got stabbed, so she probably knows she's there, or? That's true. I mean, she got stabbed, so she still, she's still gonna move away regardless. Yeah. All right. Twenty-six. Wow. Okay. Um, she is going to make three attacks in Kilia's direction. Oh boy. Um, okay. So, all of those hit. Pretty and hard. And here's where Kilia's sister dies. Cousin. He becomes a vengeful I mean, demon. niece. Niece. Yeah, she's niece. Oh, niece. yeah. Sorry. Then it's no problem. Then we just kill her. <laughs> All right, so 3d8, so d8 for each long sword attack. Um, and then add, so 6, plus 13, 
25. And then you see that there is a, um, a green glow coming from her sword. So... Okay, technically after the second sword swing, she goes down. <laughs> so she is unconscious. Um, she's going to use her third attack on Winnow. Okay, how much did um, it Well, you would take 12 points of slashing damage. Well, did it attack it, I mean? Oh, it, it was a 25. Okay, that hit. Yeah. 12 uh, slashing. Yep, 12 slashing, as well as... Um, 19 points of poison damage. And the DC? Uh, there is no DC. This is an automatic poison. Oh, so creepy. Okay. Yeah. You see, there's not like anything dripping off of her sword. It seems like the sword, the weapon itself, seems to radiate some magic. Do I know it's poison? Oh yeah, you feel it. You feel it in your veins. All right, then I also I want to. Can I say something, or do I have to wait to my turn? You can say something. It's a free action. Then I just say then that uh, she's using poison, mm -hmm. and then I like hold the wound. Mm -hmm. Screaming, I guess, because it hurts, like hell. Okay. Um, that is her turn. Uh, Kilroy. I'm going to, like, look at the two guys that attacked me and be like, I'm just going to go over and heal my niece. I'm going to take a step out of the one guy's uh, thing. He will attempt to hit you. <laughs> Motherfucker! He hits you with the 23. Alright. Um, that is... Uh, oh, uh, that's eight points of slashing damage. I I'm going to cast revert time on Kilia. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll say it. I don't know how bad she's is, so I'm just going to do it first level. Okay. And I'll be like, <laughs> what? I, I am not resisting arrest. I am just making sure my niece is okay. She kind of looks at you like, what the f <clears throat> um, okay. Uh, is do you have a bonus action or is that your turn? That's my turn. Okay. Um. Kevmorn is gonna open the door and he's like she po he points to the, the woman over there he's like screaming his head off that she's evil and he is going to attempt to hit the guy in front of him twice uh, so also screaming that he's on there he's really you know on their side. He's still like wearing his eternal flame armor and stuff, right? Yeah, he is. Um, the first one misses, the second one hits, but doesn't hit for that much. <laughs> He's like, damn it! Uh, cast off. You can't really move out of that spot. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, um, probably gonna regret this because I know that spell casting is illegal but i'm gonna use a bonus action to give myself a flame blade mm -hmm. one of those things that i learned from ixen so now i've got a fiery longsword or scimitar in my hand cool and i slash at her okay i assume we're flanking yes you are flanking she uh Kilia is now conscious excellent all right. Uh, unfortunately, uh, yo, you hit, but it doesn't look like the fire did anything to her. 
fucking demons. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Is it very visually that the fire doesn't do anything? Yeah, you see, like, you see Kassov just slash the, her back as she's uh, turned away from him. And you see that the parts of her skin that are showing, where the flame touches, there are no burns. She doesn't even get burned! She's I shout, totally I shout out, fire does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's all I do. Okay. Um, you hear in your head, Kassoff, oh, that was a bad move, buddy. And she kind of, <laughs> she just looks at you, like, looks behind her at you. Uh, would you like to move? Oh no. Nope, I'm gonna stay here. Okay. Uh, Kilia is like, looks at you, Kiroi, and says, They're not gonna listen to you! <laughs> Do something! Um, she is going to. Alright, so she used five points already for the psychic assault move. Um, uh, she is going to, she is a, I just want to see how many points she has to use. If she's that level, and then she has, okay, she has 38, great. Alright, so minus 5, she has 33 left. Um, she is in psychic assault right now, so... She is going to minus so much stuff. Um, she is going to change my creature. That would hit everybody. Um, it's an action. All right. She's going to spend six of her psi points, and she's going to look at the guy behind her, and she's going to scream, Sorry about this! Uh, and he's going to make an intelligence saving throw. He doesn't save. He will take... She spent six points of 68. Twelve, seventeen. Seventeen plus nine is twenty-six. He's going to take an additional twenty-six points um, of psychic damage, and she is she is not in a good way. Um, yeah, she 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 really can't move out of there in in this form. Okay. Um, Winnell. Alright, um... This guy, it, right here, looks pretty, pretty hurt. Alright. Uh, I have a question. Could you drink a potion you have in your belt with a move action? Um... Or do you need to use a normal action for it? For administering a potion to yourself, it's usually just a bonus action. But I want the bonus action. <laughs> Technically, you okay. can't downgrade. <laughs> what did you say? Technically, you can't downgrade. Okay. Or upgrade. It's, it's, uh, it's weird in this game. I, I've, I've, I've encountered that question a few times. All right. But then I do something else then. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going... To, I said it's going to be crowded in here. And I cast oh. uh, Conjure <laughs> Animals. Oh, no. Where are you it's conjuring? It's going to be... <laughs> I'm conjuring oh. badgers. All right, let's get the badgers out. <laughs> I was gonna try and shoot her. Now there's gonna be no room for me to shoot her. Hold but badgers on. are kind of short, and they're only medium size, so it will be like having dogs everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, hold on. I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna do some copy paste. Order is fun because they're dogs and not, or they're badgers and not dogs. Yeah, but I mean, they're they're still you can still shoot over them. All right. Yeah. Uh, I mostly want so no one can escape, and we need some more meat for this kind. They are like killing the casters that's standing in the middle. 
All right, so place them <laughs> where you want. They all should be under your control now. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my god. Uh, and I'm also turning into a, to a bear. bear. Okay. Maybe this system. It appears. Uh, and I'm going to stand on the table. The table is going to break. I have to buy her a new table. That's for sure. She's like, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah. All right. We give you control Not of the bear, too. Hold on. There you go. Thank you. All right. She, he, and then I'm done. All right. Gilly's like, why does it smell like wet fur in here? <laughs> oh, Badger's great. Um, <laughs> How much do they have in decks again? Oh, they have nothing. So the initiative goes on 11. 11. All right. I will put them in initiative then. They're looking very hungry. They, they want to eat are, stuff. They, they, haven't, they haven't had a bite to eat since they've, they've come. All right. All right. Um, so cast. Okay. Ramis, the house is full of badgers. It's, it's a Saturday night. <laughs> what? It's like a Saturday <laughs> night. What kind of Saturday nights do you have? I don't know. <laughs> if you're with a druid, you you get into some some shit. Yep. All right. Well. Um... This thing behind, right behind me, is that a window? Yes, that is a window. Does it have anything in it? Like glass or anything that would break from me jumping through it? Uh, there, There is glass. Shit. I don't want to break her windows. Those are expensive. Pay me back later. You already took off a table. <laughs> Uh, fine. I heroically swing through the window. Alright. Feet first, um, I assume? Sorry? Feet first? Yes. Okay. Um, so now I'm outside. So I have a nice wall between me and Super Guard. Okay. Um, so I'd like to hide if I may. Okay, you can hide. And then I'd like to shoot her. Okay. Alright, 15. That hits. Oh, wait. That doesn't have sneak attack damage on it. That should have sneak attack damage. Okay. I guess it's a lightning arrow. arrow. Yes. It is a lightning arrow. Yeah, that that she takes she all. Takes she takes all. She of that, doesn't. All of that. Can I also just shed at them some more? Okay. She doesn't burn. <laughs> Something wrong. <laughs> Something's wrong with her. You need to realize that. <laughs> okay. Um. The. Warriors are going to try to hack through the badgers. <laughs> uh, well, this one has to because he's surrounded by them. All right, so this one is going to make two uh, longsword attacks. I crit on one of them. Okay. Which, uh, which one are you hitting? Uh, I am hitting the guy that's in front of the door. Okay. He uh, has this much HP. Sorry. This much HP. Okay. 13. Uh, he is kaput. All right. Pop. Yep, he took 14. Um, the other one, I assume a 16 hits their armor class. Yeah, they have 10. All right. Um, the next one has 6 HP. <laughs> it was a very weak one. This one is going to take uh, 8 points of damage. Well, he has 6 HP, so okay. he's gone. All right, and then he is going to move up. Uh, this guy is going to attempt to hit Kilroy twice. Uh, he rolled a... Oh, he has advantage. I'm going to cast uh, shield. Okay. Um, so the hits are a 15 and a 17. I assume both of them missed. Both missed. Okay, great. 
Um, the guy who just got hit by the way it well, he's he's surrounded by by everything. Um, who who is he? Uh, he's six seven one two three. So kill ya. Um, he, yeah, he got rocked by her, so he's gonna try to attempt to hit her twice. Um, that one misses, that one does hit. Uh, two plus, so she only takes five points this time. And she's, so she's okay. Um, and then that guy over there is going to. There's a bear, there's a badger. And there's a cleric. You tried. You tried to hit the lieutenant, so he's gonna go after you. <laughs> Badger gets a free attack, I guess. Yep. That's a twenty-two hit. A twenty-two does hit. He gets nibbled by a badger. I think he actually gets clawed. Okay, clawed by uh, a badger. He takes five damage. Okay. Um, alright, so two attacks on Newcastle. Um, I got a 21, but the other is a, a 9, so he hits you once. Yep, that's a hit. Uh, you take a l uh, 10 points of slashing damage. Alright. Alright. Kevmorn is gonna be like, she's evil! Um, so he's going to try to hit the guy in front of him mm, maybe once. That should be fine. If he missed, if he hits. Yep, he hits. He, like, bludgeons that guy's head in, and he is unconscious. And he's like, I'll take care of you later. Steps in. Um, and he's like, so one to he, he's gonna move past you um winnell and get over here to get more targets he's gonna hit that woman uh and miss and miss um he missed with 23 no the second attack he missed with the 14 okay. and the 15. um okay. 15 doesn't hit um Okay, uh, Kiroi. I'm going to Misty step away. Okay. Sounds like a good plan. Th you can see out that window? It's more, I'd say here you can probably do it. Yep. Is over here okay? Yeah, over there is fine. Yep, you can probably, uh, yeah. You just All right. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to Ray of Frost the evil lady. Okay. Um,. Trying to see if that, that. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely. Yeah. It's yeah. 60 feet. Yeah. I was just seeing if you had line of sight. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's glass, uh, so you can probably just break the glass. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will ray of frost. Okay. Uh, that does not hit. Um, Sad. Yep. Is that your turn? Oh wait, actually no. I'm going to run around the house. Okay, sounds good. Um, she is going to say, "I tire of all this bullshit," and. She is going to take her long sword and she's going to say, hmm. Kelly looks really bad, so she is going to try to hit her once. Twice. Yes, that one does hit. So, four, so it's eight, plus the poison. Eight points, 16, 20. She's down again. And then with her last swing, she's going to look at Kasov. She's going to say, I don't really like you very much. 
Uh, does a 21 hit your armor class? That'll hit. Okay. Yep. Um, where's my other... Why is there another... There it is. Alright, so... Plus... You take 28 points of damage altogether. Oh, gosh. Is that... Does that include some poison? That includes some poison. The poison... I, I got half damage on that as right, a door. So half the poison would be... So... Two poison... And... Seven. So you take 18 points of damage altogether. Okay. Ouch. <laughs> Um, and she is going to, um, she really doesn't like her position right now. Okay. She is going to drop her disguise at this point. Um, you see a woman in black plate male armor. Uh, she has these beautiful red feathered wings, and her skin is her, the, the skin on her face is very pale, and she's wearing a like a horned helm, and she flies. Um, the house is probably so she flies like ten feet up. Um, I assume. Uh, Kassov, Badger, Winnow Bear, and Kevmore, and all get attacks of opportunity on her as she takes the air. Does the I warrior think. as well, because he sees her now as an evil demon thing? Um, I will decide on that or not. She's still Go pretty ahead. pretty and yeah. angel-like-ish. <laughs> Do I have enough time to react and switch my weapon? <laughs> Before the opportunity attack, I'm gonna. Oh, they all. Sorry. Okay. Uh, seven, eight, the nineteen hit. Yeah. Uh, it was one. Uh, what advantages? I forgot. So. Okay. So one badger hits. One badger hits. Um, I'm. I'm gonna say like after you saw her not take the damage, I'd say you can switch out your weapon because okay. you saw the flame blade did nothing, so you probably yep. like, oh shit. Yep. Then get I the did. other. Get something else. <laughs> and that does not hit, unfortunately. Um, the bears. Some magical slashing, so that will do eleven. Um, the Kevmorn is gonna try to hit her. She goes away and does not. Okay. Um, and the warrior does not take the hit. Um, how much did the badger do? Two, four? Four. So, two. Um, yeah. Um, so, like, if you were upside down and trying to cast it like you were on the ground... Like, can I? Ca it says the it's on the ground. Could I cast it on the ceiling if it's a surface, or is it just have to be ground ground? What do? You, what are you trying to cast? Uh, nothing yet. It's not my turn. Oh, okay. Um, what are you thinking of casting? Uh, Everett's black tentacles. I see. I well, they can attach to the ceiling. I don't see why not. Okay. I don't. I don't see why not. All right. So she took her three attacks, she moved. Um, badgers. Alright. Um, so the badgers can't reach her anymore, I guess? No, they can't. Does it look like uh, these people continue fighting? They look like they're going to continue fighting for her. 
Okay. Then this badger goes over here. Okay. And tries to nibble. Okay, he misses. Misses, yes. He doesn't have advantage. All right. And this one goes down here mm -hmm. and tries to nibble the same person. Okay. Maybe hit bite. Uh, the bite does hit, yes. Right. This badger tries to nibble on the same guy. Okay. Bite hit, I guess. Yeah, the bite does hit. So he takes 10 in total. Yeah. Is and... it this guy? Or is yeah, it... okay, that guy. it's that guy. Okay, yeah. so 10. Awesome. Um, let's see how far they can move. Uh, I get one, two. Hmm. You, he can move through me, never mind. This bed will move here. Okay. And will strike this person. All right. And this will also strike the same person. Same person, all right, gotcha. So two badger attacks. One and two. Mm, and I think they might miss. Everything. Yeah, they all miss. And this last badger will move there and bite the red shirt one. Okay. Let's see, this is the badger king. All right, five. Deep claw. Yep. Yeah. That's five. Gotcha. Okay. Um, gas off. Yep. All right. I'm going to use a bonus action to cast a spiritual weapon, if you don't mind grabbing me one. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. And those can float pretty much anywhere, so... Yeah, you can, okay. you can make it float anywhere, pretty much. Awesome. And I'm wearing my winged boots, so I'm... Looking to fly up as well, take the fight to the ceiling. Okay. I'm not sure to give you control of that. Yeah, spiritual weapon is pretty neat. I had uh, my group kill a, like, pretty much kill a Medusa with it the other night. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. Yep, and that's right where I want it, is right there. I'll turn it so it facing towards her. All right, and I'm going to have it basically float up towards her and attack, and I'll also float up towards her and attack. So I guess we're both like, me and the spiritual weapon are both up at level with her, so I don't know if I'm moving outside of this guy's range. I don't know if that counts as an opportunity yeah, attack. Yeah, he will take the opportunity attack. Go ahead. Um, he d hits with a 23. That'll do it. Uh, that is nine points of slashing. Okay. Okay, and here are my two attacks against her. Okay. Spiritual weapon. Wow. And... Okay. Um, <laughs> Nineteen. <laughs> uh... And this is me. Yeah, you didn't have to do that. She's she's been pretty beat she's been pretty beat up by like combined attacks from everyone else so she is she just falls to the ground. Um, she's she's uh she appears to be dead. Okay. Um, the thing that you notice about her, um, I forgot I neglected to tell you guys is she's missing one eye. Mm. Ah. Ah. She was searching for her eye. Um. Uh, did did you use non-lethal or lethal? I didn't specify. You so... didn't specify. If you want to use non-lethal, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. Because of the dimensional shackles, I would probably be in the mindset of non-lethal. Okay. But it's a, it's a spiritual weapon. Can yeah, you do that? Yeah, it's a spiritual that? weapon. You you could tell just a bonker on the head. Okay, that's what I did. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh, then then do you mind if instead of my attack, I you could switch the attack to somebody else. I. Can I instead go down to her and try to hold her down? Yeah, sure. Make sure she doesn't get up. So yeah. I'm not going to even attack. Just yeah, you can like sit on her or something. Sit on okay, her chest. You're pretty, that's... you know, you're pretty heavily armored. You're pretty heavy. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, Kilia is going to roll for a death save. She's fine for now. Um, Winnow? Does it still look like the guards are going to fight? 
they're yeah they're 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 they're, good. they're still fighting. All right, non-lethal on this guy. Okay. No, it should be that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's All right, right Michael. Uh, they both hit, so twenty-one. Ouch. Are you happy where you are? Yeah, I'm happy where I am. All right, cool. Um. Ramis. I will swing back through the window and head over to the uh, the demon lady. Mm -hmm. I'm going to dimensional shackle her. Okay. Uh, you can easily do so with the unconscious. Cool. And then I'm going to um, attempt to non-lethally attack, I guess, this guy? The one who Winnell was just attacking? Yep. He looks pretty hurt. All right. So... Uh, uh, do you have advantage? I could have advantage. You could have if you ha if could I have advantage. Like yeah. <laughs> this is a very crowded house. Um, yeah. yeah. All right. He <laughs> is um, unconsciously, uh, non lethally unconscious. Sweet. <laughs> nice work. I swear the shack has grown <laughs> so much. <laughs> what? <laughs> This tiny shack yep. has grown so much. It looks Great. smaller to me. <laughs> all right. It's probably all right. just all the people. Yeah. All right. This guy is going to attack the badger in front of him. Uh, so that is a 15 to hit. So that's 12 that points hits. of damage to him. Uh, sorry. See how much? How much damage did he say? 12. So let's see if he survives. Yes, he does. Which one was it? It was this guy right here, right in front of okay. this guy. He has three HP left. All right, he's going to hit him again. Um, that's a, a lot, and, and that's 10 points of damage. Boop. All right, this guy is going to hit the this badger in front of him. Yeah. Uh, that is an, another 22 to hit, uh, so he does eight points of damage. And that's enough. All right, and he's going to attack... This badger behind him, um, that's only a nine to hit. He doesn't hit him. Oh. He's unconscious. Uh, this guy over here is unconscious. That guy over there is unconscious. Um, Kev Morn is going to non-lethally hit this man uh, with the blunt of his sword or with the edge of his blade, with the flat of his blade, more like it. Um... Unlethally hit with the edge of his sword. <laughs> edge? No, sorry, flat. Uh, yeah, yeah, he does. Does um, so plus fifteen. He needs to go in again. Uh, that actually doesn't hit, and he's sad. Uh, Kiroi. All right, I am going to Misty Step here, and uh, the door is still open, right? The door is still opened. Can I reach over and revert time on Kilia? Yes. There is a badger on her, but yes. All right, she is back up. Kind of say, why is there a badger on me? <laughs> The badger tries to scuttle a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right, she is unconscious. Badgers. All right, this uh, badger down here. Mm -hmm. He takes a side step close to the closet. Okay. And attacks with advantage. Yep. Uh, both will hit. Uh, Twelve points. All it's also a crit on the second one. The D six more. Okay. I wonder why the crit. So, fifteen points of damage. All non-lethal. All non -lethal. Did, Does does it go down? No, he's still up. This badger here moves there. Okay. And does a non-advantage attack. Okay. 
Um, mm -hmm. The last second one hits, so he's still up. Okay, this one moves here. Okay. And hits. Um, Maybe. Yeah, neither of those will hit. Okay, and uh, this one doesn't want to move out of attack. Well, he doesn't. He actually moves down here through. Yeah, through him. Okay. I mean, uh, Kevmorn. And then um, attacks the same person. Uh, Come on! That, that doesn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> the badges are not performing as they normally do. They're not as good as against plate. Nope. Um, cast off. Castle is typing. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's fine. Gives me time to see what Kilia is going to do, actually. Um... Mind control them all. <laughs> uh, she would have to switch to do that. Um... She has like an inquisition, right? Okay, sorry about that. No, it's like a description yep. or site perfect mission. All right, it is your turn. Perfect. Okay. Um... Well, I'm just. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna move, but I'm gonna. Uh, if I throw a throwing axe, can I try to? Here, a hand axe. Can I try to make that non-lethal? <laughs> yeah, go for an arm. Sure. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, so I'll try to keep my aim, arm-ish. So I'll, I'll aim at the guy that's surrounded by badgers. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't need his hand. Yeah, we'll just aim for something like that. Uh, unfortunately, that is not uh, hit. Okay. No problem. I'll also use a bonus action to shout out a healing word to um, to kill Roy's niece. Okay, she's mm. she's up by the way, so she has okay, good. eight right now. That's fine. All right. Plus I'll seven. give her a little more. Awesome. All right, Kilia is gonna say, "Okay, fuck off this." Um, she looks really pissed at this point. She's going to switch to Psychic, um, for bonus action, she's going to switch to Psychic Disruption. And... Psychic Assault, Psychic Disruption, um... She is going to use three points to cast Days on who looks worse off okay so he's not as bad so he has to make an uh, intelligence saving throw now he fails all right so he is considered incapacitated until the end of his uh turn all right and she's gonna be like i'm moving over behind the bear <laughs> screw this um, well, no. That gives the bear room to move. Yes. The bear moves forward and tries to bite the incapacitated person. All right, you have an advantage. Um, so the eight. Okay. And then he's still in cap. He's still like unconscious. No, he is. Once he yeah. takes the damage, he is not in cap. In in that thing, that word, in captain. Yeah. Um, I was standing. Okay. And look at him. Okay. Growling. Okay. Ramis. I am going to move around behind the badgers. Can I stand on the stove or, like, in the space here? Yeah, you can stand on top of the stove. Okay. I'm going to stand on top of the stove and try to non-lethally stab the guy in front of me. All right, yeah, go for a shoulder. Try not to hit the major artery. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Yeah, because you're next to a badger, and 
he falls yeah, unconscious. I'm, I'm so I, I do the damage. You do all the damage. Okay, and this guy is... There's a bear. There's a another of the Eternal Flame. He's going to try to hit the bear. <laughs> oh, then I need to roll my HP. Yeah. Um, you probably don't, because he just rolled double ones. Okay. Yeah, so you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. It's like, yeah, I rolled two dice. He has two attacks. Oh, ones on both. Okay, whatever. Um, and you can't really move, so Kevmorn is going to, you know, non-lethally hit him with the flat of his blade. He's not flanking it, but nope. Um, alright, that is in, and that hits, and he now goes unconscious. I think that's, every, yep, that's everyone. Um, okay. The we badgers are, disappear. Badgers disappear. Um, Kilia goes to the one here and stabilizes him. Well, make sure he doesn't bleed out or anything like that. He's fine. They're all non-lethally hit. They're fine. Um, and, um, yeah, you're, you you guys put the Dimension Shackles on the Aranus, I assume. Yes, we did. Okay. I said okay. that last, last turn? Yes. Last turn? Yeah, I think you did last turn. Okay. Um, and you make, sh and, you know, Kevmore makes, sh Kevmore and Killian make sure the others don't, like, die. Alright. I heal myself twice. Okay. Does anyone need healing? I'm good. Kilroy? Yeah, make sure Kili is okay. Kili, yeah. do, do you need any healing? I'm uh, I'm all right for now. Um, I'll I'll top myself off. I'll top myself off later. Um, she kind of gently kicks the Aranus. Stupid bitch. Um, are we gonna wake her up? How are we how are we gonna do this with her? Yeah, she is shackled, so. She can't get away, that's good. Yep. Um, we should probably tie the hands of the other paladins. Line them up. Yeah. Let's um, wake them up and show them her. Yeah, I think that's a bad idea. See if they're still under her control or something. Okay, I'll help. Maybe we should drag them all to somewhere. Uh, yeah, you can, you like can, here. You can, um, yeah, you can either put them in one corner of the room, or you can throw them into the storeroom if you want. You know, that kind of thing. Leave the door open. Yeah. Along here is good. I'll try to, I'll try to drag them over. If you guys want to move the move the remains of the table. <laughs> yeah, so, I help uh, okay. with our effort. All right. So with you know with Kevmorn and um, but the rest of you guys can easily move them into one corner, wake them up, gag them. Um, Kilia suggests gagging them <laughs> um, before they shout. Did he look like a leader? Um, no, he he more he looked like he was more taking uh, um, orders from her. She's a little more decorate. Like in her other state, she looked a little more decorated uh, than mm -hmm. the others. This is the the blonde was the one that uh, shoved in, right? Yes, uh, the blonde, like the one with the yellow. Well, technically, the yellow shield is the one who shoved in. I thought that, gonna... that was his head, but... <laughs> I'm gonna drag this table to here and place uh, the demon on the table. Okay. So she, they're more easily seen by the others. Okay, sounds With good. her wings falling off the edge of the table. Yeah. Good idea. We'll tie her down. I'll tie her down. I've got a rope. I probably know how to use it. Okay. I mean, she's Dimension Shaco, she's rope. She's... She looks like she's pretty secure. Yeah, we don't want to take any chances with her. <laughs> yeah, that would be bad. Um 
So yeah, you want you guys are gonna wake her up. We're I think we're gonna wake us up. Wake some of the others up first. All right. Um, they wake up. They're mm. like, you know, these these before you gag them, they start screaming how the eternal flame is gonna hunt you down and blah 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 and um how dare you hurt a celestial in their care blah 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 um yeah <laughs> wait how how dare we hurt a celestial in their care yes they think Definitely. she's a celestial it appears it's uh what they say suggests so <laughs> okay well we should probably contact i say to the, the guards can't hear uh, rika and make her send out her people Okay. okay. I say to the rest of the party. Mm. Yeah, good yeah. point. Sounds like a good idea. Can I like oh, yes. try and persuade some of them while we're waiting for Rika's people to show up? Yeah, you should. You could talk to him and say, "You, she's pretty, but she she ain't a celestial." <laughs> yeah, like look at her. She's like all red and devilly looking and stuff, and she smells like sulfur. Kevin was like, she smells like sulfur and rotten eggs if you had divine sense. Which, which sounds like sounds you don't. Like... <laughs> yeah. Like, come on. Um, she... All right, roll persuasion. <laughs> With advantage, because um, uh, Kevin Morn is saying, yeah, she's evil as fuck. <laughs> yep. Um, I'm pretty um, good at it. Yeah, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Um, all of them, actually. Seems like they're, Wait. like... It sounds like you're, you're convincing. You're starting to convince them. Um, uh. So, yeah. Alright, so the Aranist is on the table. I guess I will try to hurry over to Rika. All right. Yep. I thought Rika was coming to us. Oh, you have to go. Get yeah, but I mean her. to get her. Right. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Somehow, somehow we have to let her know. And and also, I I can cast a zone of truth if if we need to question her, question uh, the demon, the devil. All right. Um, Kevin is gonna head over with you, um, just in case. Um, cool. Alright, so you guys have the Aranus. She's on the table. She wakes up and she looks mad as fucking hell. She is like hissing at you, spouting, cursing you, um, that kind of thing. Uh, in, uh, in, in, can I start speaking to her in Infernal? Uh, yes, you can. I'm just gonna be like, uh, hi. Uh, you seem to be having a thing here, and you're you're one of the devils that you, your race of devils is rumored to be a little more, um, uh, you know, uh, trustworthy to human. Um, <laughs> she responds to you telepathically. Uh huh. And. Uh, so I I, I was just wondering. How evil does the eye turn person? <laughs> oh my god. Your eye, what are you saying to the weird de to the weird devil? I'll, I'll just like hold up a finger. Yeah, I don't speak infernal. Kilia is just she has this look of disbelief. Like And you hear her, mum like, Ramus and Kassov, you both hear her mumble under, you know, almost underneath her breath. <sighs> no, no wonder mom wanted me to keep an eye on him. <laughs> She's, she says, so you do have my eye. Uh, I don't that. personally. I could get your other one. <laughs> I just figured you didn't want that. <sighs> I've tried to be as reasonable as possible with you. It doesn't t and she, she, she says with a, um, or she telepathically says with a, with a grin, um, no, it doesn't turn you that evil at all. Okay, but like, 
<laughs> so you could attest to the fact right, not too evil. Demon. I I mean, what what is evil anyways? Right? <laughs> what even is evil? See, see, this is this is what I'm talking about. Like, they would freak out if they knew that uh, rumor here was a was a devil. Ru uh, rumor kind of just looks at you like, <sighs> and just and the, the the pseudo dragon looks at the rest of you guys and kind of just shakes his head. Hey, I'm speaking in infernal, so they don't understand. Yeah, but he's just shaking his head. <laughs> Disapprovingly. <laughs> Kilia is shaking her head disapprovingly and saying, and says in common, Uncle Kilroy, I don't think this is a good idea. Okay. I, it, it might not be a good idea, but I need to know, like, what can we do? Is there a way to reverse it? Like, she's, do you have to gift your eye or can we just rip them out of your head? Uh, the Aranus says, well, if the target is, but are you are you telling how this process works? Are yes, I, I just want I, I, my precious I to know orbs. Your precious orbs? The, don't no, it's your eyes. <laughs> They're precious. Um. Uh, normally they could be. I mean, if you want to be very barbaric, you could rip out an eye and replace it with that one um or you can be a little more civilized and have a uh a cleric or if uh or a uh a medicinal person you know remove the eye in a less pain a less painful manner well i uh, i was going to do that for the person receiving the eye. i meant for you like can we just rip your eye out you don't have to give it or anything um I ha you have to the target has to be well the Aranus has to be willing of course. Um, I mean, are you thinking of replacing one of one of your own? Uh... No, 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 no. I no, I don't need. Well, maybe, but no. Um... At this point, Killy is like, I don't think we should continue this conversation. Can we stop, please? Okay, please. So, so you're not willing to have an eye. <sighs> Kyria looks at Kassoff and Ramis and says, could you please tell him, and she's speaking in common at this point, that I don't want this thing? Okay, that's that's all I needed to hear. Oh, like I said I, I, I said I'd come up with a way to give you vision, <laughs> you turned it down, because Chronobancy is not good enough for you, and you just want to design clothing or something. <laughs> Anyways, uh, miss, uh, you have to give your orb willingly. Do, do you give your other orb willingly? I did. Oh, no, the, the one you have in your head right now. Oh, I'm not giving this away. Oh, okay, so then you're useless to it. Oh, all right, gosh. you guys can do what you want, and I'll, like, go back to common. Like, it's all good. You guys can do what you want. Okay. Sorry about the eye. You can keep it. Okay, okay. So, Kalia looks like she's about to bang her head on a wall. So creepy demon lady, if I if I burned your eye or something, would it hurt you? No. Okay. Now I'm gonna cast Zone of Truth. She's immune to fire. <laughs> what if I stabbed it? If I stabbed it, would it hurt you? No. Um, all right, so charisma save. Oh, she rolled a one. Okay. All right, she's affected. I can tell that uh, she must tell the truth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can. <laughs> she. She. You. She will. She will. She must. She is compelled to tell you the truth. Let me read this again. Um, can't speak a deliberate lie. Okay. I see. Okay. It's centered on her, so I guess anyone around her. I don't know if. Can can I? I don't know if everybody, everybody in that area can no longer lie. Um. <laughs> well, the cat, a creature, intends to spend a creature that enters his first time. Starts. I mean, 
Did I just create the zone? I can't choose who can. Yeah, who can I mean, technically, zone. if Kilia <laughs> and um, and Ramus would have to roll saves if they would want to lie. Okay. And Kira, okay. and you. Understood. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. saving throws if you want to resist. <laughs> Yeah, you, you don't resist. <laughs> ah, Ring of Mind Shield that blocks this. No, it doesn't. Oh, never mind. So okay, I'm never immune. mind. Never mind. Kilia, Kilia is the only person who has to... The Ring of Mind Shielding I have is being immune to magic that allows others to read thoughts, determine truth, and alignment. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, no alignment or creature type. Okay, All right, good. Kilia is... Um, actually, good catch. Kelly is unaffected. She resists the zone. Um, all right, we got ten minutes. What do you want to ask her? Kelly says. Is the High Inquisitor a devil? No. Is he being influenced by devil? Who can say that we aren't all influenced by evil? How many other devils are there in the city? Mm. I frankly can't think. I frankly think you can't count that high. <laughs> Is it less than a hundred? <laughs> mm. She doesn't have to answer if she can't ask, be quiet. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> She, okay. she, she doesn't say anything to you. She just says, just stares at you. Not the torture, torture. begins. <laughs> Answer the question, or I'll take out your other eye. <laughs> yes. Less than a hundred. That wasn't so hard, was it? Wait, that worked. <laughs> she sticks her tongue out at you. I my tongue out back. <laughs> uh, less than 50? <laughs> um, more than 50. Well, you know, while you, are, you and Kevin Warren are, you know, rushing to Lady Rika's, Kevin Warren says, do you think they're going to be okay alone? Well, both Dramas and Casso is there, so I hope so. I hope so too. Um, I hope they don't start bargaining with the devil. That yeah, would be that, really that would bad. be that would be horrible. That Kas Kasov, Kasov, Kasov wouldn't bargain with the devil. No, nah, that's the one I'm counting on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am too. Uh, I'm still a little I'm worried. Still a little worried. It's, it is Ramus. Yeah. Oh come on! I'm, I'm, I'm more worried about Kilroy. You know that's what Cam would say. <laughs> That's true, he would. Vinyl probably says, Ram is actually shown to be kind of reliable lately, actually. Yeah. <laughs> he has grown a lot during the years. Yeah, I guess that's what 36 years will do. It certainly does. Okay. Um... Do you think that Kilroy is evil? I ask him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether I am a a, a good. No, well, I'm a. I'm a hmm, I don't know. I can't tell. I see. I can't. I don't get any. Well, he's he's not a, a fiend, so I don't get anything when I use divine sense. Can't I cast detect evil? Um, it only really works on like fiends and monstrosities and things like uh, that. Yeah, it doesn't mm -hmm. actually detect evil alignments anymore. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. It, but Vina doesn't know that. She doesn't know that. Yeah, he, he's just explain. He'll explain <laughs> to you how it works. Um, as you guys are r rushing to Lady Rika's, uh, or no, to the Pillar of Strength, I believe. Yeah. To the Pillar of Strength. Um. Um. All right. So back to the Aranus. She um she she just uh, just stares at all of you while you're asking questions. Are you asking you anything ask else besides less than 50 or more than 50? Who is the 
What is the highest rank a demon currently holds in the order of the soul in the order of the sacred flame? Eternal flame. Eternal wait, flame. wait, there, she's a devil, right? Not a demon. Devil. Shit. I re-asked the same question. <laughs> Devils are a different thing. Demons are just stupid. Yes, I keep yep. sorry, I keep mixing them up. Yeah. Yep. She she kind of grimaces when you say demon. Um I'd say I know I think, what I said. Yeah, I, I I'd say pretty high. Higher than, higher than my position, specific. anyways. Specifics. <sighs> Fine. Um, it's not like you're gonna be able to do anything about it. Don't be so sure. Wait, she was willing to tell us, just <laughs> A few bishops. A few be three? You could say that. But is it true? Are there three bishops? There are, are more than three bishops. Here How many it's... bishops are there who are devils? I know of three. But I... There are probably more. But personally, but I know of three. Okay. What is the most powerful devil currently in the city? At that point, she looks really uncomfortable. Uh... Ramus pulls out one of his knives and starts playing with it. Starts humming to himself while he does. Humming a nice and tune, probably one of the dragos. Mm. Yeah. Um... She she continues to keep her mouth shut. I'm going to take your eye. <laughs> Make I'm an intimidation check. Eye. Oh wow. Okay. Um All right, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, but you can't actually take her eye. That's why I'm making an intimidation check instead of... No, no, Kil Kilroy's saying this. He believes in intimidation. <laughs> Kilia says, oh my god. My gods, why am I here? <laughs> um, you know, a surprising number of people ask that when we show up. I wonder why. Right? She looks at she, looks she well she turns to Kassoff's direction. Does he understand sarcasm? Most people in our party don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we get by. <laughs> she just shakes her head. Anyhow, where were we? Ah, yes, I was going to take your eye if you didn't answer my question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hate you, you know that, right? And I hate you. You are a perversion of all of the things I hold dear. And many other things that I don't. So I don't care about those. <laughs> Kassoff does, though, and I like him. So, tell me. What do I get if I tell you? You you, you haven't made any inclination that you were going to let me go. I thought that was obvious. I won't take your eye out right now. There is one in this city that ranks higher than me. What name is he hiding under? Richter. 
<laughs> what the twist? If you, if I tell you the name that this individual is hiding under, what do I get in return? Because if I tell you, I'm probably not long for this plane. Killing me quick? Ah, so a quick death is what I'm granted. Yeah. Messy. I mean, we can make it nice and messy if you're into that. But. Hmm. I don't think I want to tell you. And she just kind of just looks at you. Hmm. Damn shame. Damn shame. If, if we get rid of them, though, wouldn't you be better off? I'm going to die anyways. According to your little friend here. Well, I, I don't mean to overstep. I, I, we, we usually decide things as a group, but I'll uh, offer a counter offer. We let you return to your plane of existence, and we kill the person in charge. Out of character, does de killing demons here still just send them back to lower planes? Um, or can we actually kill them? Uh, that would probably require an arcana check. Ah. Okay. For... For Aranises, um... Kira, you know that killing her would probably just send her back to her plane of existence. Hello? Yep, I'm just trying to think uh, like how I can incentivize telling us the person I mean, I mean, if we, we sent you back without killing you, then it could be seen like you escaped from us, and if we kill the person in charge, then that makes you seem even more powerful than you are, doesn't it? It's a good power play, and I mean, like, worse comes to worse, where you, you return to the, the hells, and you bide your time and all that, but... um. We're going to take a shot at them. <laughs> You're very funny, scrawny one. All Thank you. Are very funny. Hmm. Uh, out of character, would I know of a way to kill her and not have her return to the plane? You'd have to kill her back to, in her original plane. There's no way of, like, magically forcing her to stay, call this plane her home plane and then killing her? Um, it's very difficult to do so. Um... With your Arcana check, there's a way to maybe, like, just trap her soul on this plane, but it would require a while to complete. Kilia says, look, she can't get out right now. Um, she, she motions to, like, her shackled hands. I mean... 
we could just toss her in a pit and let her rot. Uh, then again, do you want her shack? Do you, do you want the shackles back? <laughs> I do want the shackles. I might need them. Plus, they're shiny. I can't see. The... Anyways, um, right, shiny. Uh, very important. Yes, very, very, very important. Um. Could I try something on her? Sure. Alright. All right. As long as you're not gonna, like, set her free or something. No, 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 no. That, that's the furthest thing that I want to try. Okay. Um... I can do this. But if something happens, just knock me unconscious, alright? You got it. Thank you. Ah... Uh, she, you know, she cracks her, she cracks her knuckles, and she puts her hand out in front of you, her, well, out in front of her, right in the direction of the Aranus, and she is going to cast Ransack Mind. Um, <laughs> that sounds like a great spell. Uh, if you reach Ability's Determination, for an Urshu's Investigator 3, Intelligence Saving Throws, you learn information based on the number of saving throws it fails. Okay. Um, Alright, so this will last for one hour. Um, save. Fail. Fail. Okay. Um, she, 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 she starts concentrating. And... She says, I'm getting two memories from the past 24 hours from her. One of them is from a person that is dressed very ornately. With the symbol of the flame on it. I think this is one of the bishops she was talking about. I have a face. The second key memory I'm getting from her is a very large praying mantis creature that's blue. I don't know what it is, though. And this whole time, like, when Kilia is saying this, the, the Araness is not making any noise whatsoever. Can I make a knowledge check? Yeah, I'll, I'll turn... I'm not even going to try and make a knowledge check. I'll just turn to them and be like, eh? Kind of shrug. Uh, you can make an Arcana check if you want, Gorai. Another one, just to see if you can identify this creature. Hmm... Very fiendish. Sounds very fiendish in, in nature. Um, I think, I mean, um, Kilia says, I think the blue, the devil, like, the, the, the blue mantis devil thing might be the same person as the, the old man I see in my head. Um, I can't get anything more than that, though. Can you, like, describe the face? She, yeah, she'll she'll describe the face in detail. Um, the face she describes is uh, an older man. Um, probably looks like he's in his seventies. Um, hair is completely white. Uh, gray eyes. Uh, very sharp, pointed hook nose. Um, he doesn't seem very tall in comparison to her. It seems like he might be maybe a couple inches shorter than she is. So pretty short, maybe five foot two, five foot three. Um, very, wearing very ornate robes of the eternal flame. It seems like, um, describing from her mind's eye. Um, he has... A scar, like a really long scar that looks like it, it, it's from somewhere within his robes and goes all the way to his 
middle right hand. And there is a voice, Kilia says. It's it's very raspy. Um, like it sounds like he his his voice box has been burned or something, an injury that happened to his vocal cords. Um, <laughs> I I and she's like I'm trying to. I'm trying to visualize. I'm trying to visualize the room. Just seems like there's a lot of books in here, a lot of iconic religious figures of some sort as well. Um, some of them which I can't even identify. Okay. Can you tell if his name starts with a C? <laughs> I, the memory I'm getting doesn't mention names. I, I hear a conversation. I hear orders, um, but I don't. I don't have any names to go by. I'm sorry. Can we wake her up and ask her? Um, she's been awake this whole time. Oh. <laughs> she's just. She hasn't said anything to you when when um. When uh, Kilia starts doing this. Oh. Does his name start with a C? Come on. Just one letter. She doesn't say anything. Emma starts humming. <laughs> I'm gonna take your eye. I'm gonna take your eye. Back with Winnell and Kevmorn. You guys get to Lady Rika's <laughs> at this point. Okay. Uh, well, pillar the pillar of strength. Sorry. Um, it looks like uh, rugby is outside of the temple, um, just you know, sniffing around, looking for new smells. <laughs> Sees you and Kevmorn approaching the temple, and he begins <laughs> barking very happily, and just trots over in your direction. Oh, I start casting Speak with Animals. Okay. Hey, how are you doing? Good, 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 good. I found a soup bone. And he, he like, points over to, like, this really slobbered, covered, dirty, looks like some kind of, like, leg bone, small, like, leg bone from some animal that was probably buried underground a while back. Looks tasty. Is Rika inside? Yeah, yeah. Mistress inside. Mistress inside. Does she have any guards? Mm. That might stop me. Stop you? Uh, don't know. Don't know. She people. Lots. Some people. Uh, people that she travels with. Lots. Uh, with her. Okay. We will try then. Riff. And he goes back to like find, trying to find more bone, more, more treasure in the uh, courtyard. Yeah, yes, a good adventure. Um, you go in. You and Kevmorn go in. Um, looks like Lady uh, Rika is starting to get settled. Uh, she is currently praying in front of one of the uh, altars to for court. Um, there is a young priestess who um, walks over to you and Kev Morn and says, um, "I'm I'm I'm sorry. Uh, the 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 lady says she's 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 not to be disturbed. Um, we've we've actually uh, the temple is not available for worship today. Um, could you would you be able to? I could perhaps." Uh, uh, guide you to a, a smaller temple or one of the uh, one of the orders of the flame if you are in need of healing or any uh, medicinal needs. I wonder, can you give a message to Rika inside? Um. Yes, of course, of course I can. It, it, what would you what, what do you need me to say? 
tell her that her new acquaintance are waiting outside with of news. Of course, I will tell her immediately. And she goes towards where Rika is praying, and she, you know, immediately stops and she says. She motions one of the two of the guards to come with her, and she actually heads in your direction. Ah, um, Winnow, um, you're... She doesn't know my name, oh, right. I think. Uh, or did Ramos know? My name was not said, right? I, I don't, don't think remember. your name was said. It, um, can I help you? You're back already. Something has happened. Is this a safe place to talk about it? Um... It's of the gravest kind. Let's go into the room I'm currently staying in. I'm staying in one of the back rooms. Um, she leads you past the pews to one of the back... Uh, one of the acolytes' rooms that's been... It's starting to be converted into a room for her. Um, and she tells her guards to, you know, just wait by the door. Um, so one waits inside, one waits outside, just to make sure nobody disturbs you guys. Yeah. All right. Um, what do you have to report? Um, five people of your order entered the house we were in and trying to find an object that we think belongs to one of them. Um, but these people was led by a, de a devil in disguise. We had to subdue everyone, and the devil revealed its form. And we now have it in the house. And we would like you to send your people, or some people that you trust, because this is a devil that had a kind of high rank. Okay. Um, I'll get the clerks of Cord over there immediately. Um, I give her the address. Okay. Um... We might have to contact the, um, there's currently a wizard in town that is traveled in from Vox. Um, I might have to contact him because I don't know what she is capable of. Okay, um. She has dimensional shackles on her right now and she's very tightly restricted to do anything i think okay um the other thing i'm worried about lady rika says is that if she is as higher rank as you say if she doesn't return uh, in the allotted time people might come looking for her most probably yes i think she's a lieutenant or something kind she was leading the party of um followers okay um, um. But she's in her deem devil form right now. Okay. So, if they, but the, when she, she revealed her form, the other people in the order still fought with her, believe, believing she was celestial. I see. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to go. I'm going to get the clerics. We're going to send a small group of them. I, I was about to send them over to the meeting house that you cleared out, but this is a little more important. Um, uh, uh, Kina, um, she goes to her Kina, um, and the, the, the very young priestess who greeted you at the door um, goes up to Lady Rika. Could you let um, High Priestess uh, Lin and High Priest... Um, uh, Morden Caden know that uh, there has been a change of plans and I need to speak to them immediately and the uh, the priestess says of, 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 of course of course I, I will go get them immediately um, thank you for bringing me this information um, we will move her here as soon as possible. We will be waiting at the house. All right. Accord strength to you. Um, and uh, Ke uh, Kevmore says we should get going and make sure that the house hasn't exploded. Hopefully. Hopefully nothing happened. 
nothing happened, right? Oh. Nothing's gonna happen, right? I mean, nothing. Kasov is there. He's 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 got this. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen. We have it under control. Yes. Um. Well, so... it's happened a lot of here when we have been here one day. So <laughs> it seems that there are a lot of problems in this area. This is, this is, this is, we really should go back to the other continent one of these days. Um. So. When as you're leaving, um, Kina brings over to a middle-aged, late fifty, a, a, a pair. Uh, the woman in her mid, you know, middle age, a man in her, in his late fifties, over, and um, they are talking in like hushed voices, and um, they begin, you know, sit. Looks like they're starting to plan something. Back at the house, um, Kilia says, "Well, um, anything else we want to ask her before before this this ten minutes is up? It's getting close, I think." I have nothing. I have nothing. Ask um, 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 unless unless some of the other bound guards want to ask anything. <laughs> now that they see question. her true nature, um, they are shocked. They've been gagged, so they haven't been saying anything. All right, All right. I take a gag <laughs> off. <laughs> I take a gag off of the yellow shield guy. By by the eternal flame, what is happening? <laughs> He is like in in deep shock. Ask her anything you want. <laughs> he turns to you and says, "I actually, I know the, the 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 man that your young friend is talking about." Oh, uh, with the scar uh, and the and the raspy voice. That's that's Bishop Cern. Bishop Cern. Okay. Does that start with a C? Yes, he says. <clears throat> Got him. Ramus is brilliant as usual. <laughs> Bishop... Detective Ramus. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> against Detective. Bishop. You know, yep. Bishop Cern is High Inquisitor Manic's right hand. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. okay. Is he pretending to be a celestial too? No, Bishop, Bishop, and you know, at, you know, the Aaron is seething at this point. Bishop Cern um, told us that she was an angel. Point motions over to the Aaroness sitting in the zone of truth, um, and that she was a gift from he who controls the eternal flame. For, to um, help in our crusade to remove the, the scum and villainy that plagues this fair city, town. Hmm. Your crusade. I see. How long has uh, Bishop Cern been around? Also, is he in the zone of truth? Um, how big is the zone of truth again? 15 feet. Uh, 15, 15 feet. feet radius. So if it's emanating from her, yeah, he's probably, he's in it. Yeah, so okay, one, cool. two, yeah, they're all they're in all... it. Okay, cool. So um, I can trust what he's saying. Can I tell if tell if they saved or not? Um, he did not save, so okay, he's good. Um, Bishop Cern came into position about four months ago. Ooh, that's more recent than I think we were expecting. He um he was voted into the position. Um, after um, Bishop Bishop um, Bishop uh, Carlo was well, he he had passed on. I see. Yes, and you know, Bish um, then. Wait, Bishop Carlo. Yes. Oh no, there's more than one bishop with a C, guys. <laughs> what do we do? Bishop Carlo was in his position for more than 10 years before he passed away. 
Okay. Well, um, the letter is probably more recent than that, so. I'm, I'm looking at the letter for camp, at the notes that we found. Yeah, he, it, not, it's, it's, it's much more recent. Yeah. Like, it's within, like, um, weeks, maybe. Because X is writing to somebody who's signed as C. Mm -hmm. I figure that's somebody in the city. Good probably detective is. work there. Nice. Probably this bishop guy. Um, um, so, so he, so he, the person who's telling you this information right now, he, um, he, he tells you this and he's like, oh my God, how long have we been working for Devos? Is, is everybody a devil? <sighs> what do I even believe in anymore? What should I believe in? I don't even know. He looks like he's believe still in not burning people. <sighs> burning people is bad. You shouldn't burn people. But, but. but Burning I'm... people hurts. Have you ever been burned? Well, we 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 are required to go under trials of fire in order to join the order. Then you should know. Burning people hurts. It sucks. A horrible way to die. As I sheathe my flame blade, I I say uh, <laughs> um, unless unless the punishment is justified. <laughs> Kelly is at this point going over to the stove and making something to eat. <laughs> She's like, I can't, I can't even. Um, um. At this point, uh, Winnow, you and Kevmore come back. Uh, okay. There is a paladin in the well. There is a member of the Eternal Flame in the or in the corner going through an existential existential crisis. <laughs> The others probably aren't, too. There's probably more than one, Why? you know, going through um, loss of faith currently. I see. I see. Then I say, Rick is on her way. Good. Oh, good. I, I her people, at least. Yeah, I try to um, comfort them a little bit by saying that I, that I had a... I questioned my faith recently, too, and... It turned out that it was that I was deceived, that I was deceived, and I'm trying to, I don't know, just make them feel a little better. Okay, um, roll a persuasion check. Okay, I'm pretty terrible at these. I was gonna ask if I could give you aid, but I don't think it'll help. <laughs> That's not really good. Um, I turn to I turn to Kevmorn and say, "Tell them, tell them, Kevmorn." Um, he you're part of the eternal flame. He kind of leans over to you, Gasoff, and says, I don't know. I mean, they're pretty shitty people. <laughs> um, okay. You're, you're not wrong. We're okay. not like this on the other continent. We don't burn people. You guys should just be better people. Not they being were, so shitty to everyone. They were just oh, burning deceived. People, they were deceived by someone in a higher power. I'll, I mean, I, I'll try. Um... They can't just follow everybody who tells them stuff, though. Like, here, I could tell you, you, go jump through that window. Wait, that doesn't work very well. No, I'll it's... disguise myself as uh, in the same armor as the captain and say, oh, you, <laughs> I'm now your captain. Go jump through that window. <laughs> Kevin tries to give him a pep talk, but it's not really working out that well. Nope. Okay. Guys, I don't Remus, know. Remus is kind of doing his best to undermine it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't now. Okay, so um, so yeah, we're not helping these guys, but that's okay. They... <laughs> Kilia, <laughs> Kilia hands you guys peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Ooh, the best. Nice. Thank you. I, I, I'm, I'm glad you appreciate it. Well... I probably can't stay in this house anymore, so I'm going to pack up. I don't want to be in this house anymore. Especially if the other members know where I am now. Because of an eye. What should we do about that, by the way? Um, I'd say we should burn it. That feels kind of fitting. But I don't think it'll burn. Yeah. We should destroy it then. Yeah, but how? 
chop it into small pieces. I don't know. Sure, we can do Squish that. Squish it with a medical weapon, maybe. It might like warn them or something if we do for now. For now, I think just keep it in the bag of holding. They can't detect it there. Yeah, in the lead box. Yeah, yeah put it sure. in the lead box, she says. I can't seem to see it through there. All right. Yeah, stick it in the lead box, too. That works. But there's one thing. Have Have you questioned this thing, Devin? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Do you have any questions? Yes. It's, has it been 10 minutes? Um, It's nearly there, so you got, one, you got like a minute or two left. Okay. Then I ask her. Why did your own people lock the eye in the lead box? It was going to be a gift for somebody. For whom? <sighs> you know. Hmm. I don't think I want to answer that. Grandma starts humming again. <laughs> I'm going to take your eye. I'm going to take your eye. Oh, 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 it's a wonderful day. Row another I'm intimidation check. Hey! Yeah, yeah, Does she speak from that? Yeah, role? she 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 looks like she's thinking about what she's gonna say. Mm. They're gonna be promoting a new archbishop soon. And at that point you see her her mouth curl into a smile. And this archbishop is a good person that you need to make evil? Oh no. She doesn't say anything. Well, oh. you don't have to say anything. No, that's true. So someone is about to die. He's about to. They, they're they're probably gonna stick that eye in him. Maybe. I mean that he's he's gonna that news is gonna replace someone. I guess someone is going to die soon. Oh, oh, that's true. Oh shit! Which bishop is it? Who are they? Who are they gonna kill? I look at. She is not saying anything anymore. Well, how many bishops are there, or how many how many archbishops are there? I guess. Um, Kilia says in this region, um, there is one archbishop of Corral. Um, usually one of the major cities. Uh, Kilia says has an archbishop per, with the order of the flame. Is it the Archbishop of Corral? She does not say anything. Um, Come on, do I have to sing for you again? Kilia says, there is one arch... I know of the current Archbishop. His name is Zar Lane. Um, he's... He's always been a very prominent leader in the region. Um, very zealous as, as well. That starts with an X. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but but he hasn't... I don't know what X is. <laughs> we found that in Camp Fury, though. And it wouldn't make sense for them to be writing to him if we found it at Camp Fury. Unless he was at Camp Fury and we just missed him or something. Czar, Archbishop oh. Czar Lane has been the Archbishop in this city for 30 years. For 30 years, you say? Yes, actually. Ding, ding, ding. Who is saying this, by the way? Uh, Kilia is. Okay. Then he might be a tar target to them, so he must be protected. Um, what do you gain from this? I look at the devil. I mean, the whole this plotting and everything, what does it gain you? What is your reward? You, she says, have no idea 
what you're doing. You have no idea what plans you're hindering right now. She just heard that just before. shrugs. <laughs> Lesser mortals. Okay, there's going to be something very bad going down. They might try to open like a big portal to bring in a lot of demons or something. Maybe they need to do the sacrifice, like sacrifice everyone in the order. I'm studying her face as I say this, but... Okay. Um, roll an insight check. Can I aid on this? Or just make my own insight check? Yeah, you can make your own insight check. Okay. Uh... She's... Very well guarded um, with her feelings. But then she simply says, If we go down, everybody in this region is coming with us. Ooh, ominous. <laughs> you have no idea, thief. You have no idea. I am not a thief. <laughs> I've heard scarier things from scarier people. Um, Kelly says, I'm not opening the door this time. Can you one of you guys do it? Sure. I go to and um, I say, who is it? Um, we are clerics of Cord. We were sent over by Lady Rika. I open the door. All right. You see, you know, several uh, clerics of Cord um, walk in. Um, two of Lady Rika's personal guard accompanying them. And uh, the the older w older cleric like freezes when he sees um, the Aranus on the table. says, We will take this over the situation immediately. Um, you see they have like very like lengths of chain with them. It looks like there are little um, inscriptions um, on the chains. Um, Little inscriptions on the chains, uh, little rune, runic words. Um, there's like, we will, you know, we're going to bind her. These chains have been blessed, and um, we we have this situation under control. And you see, the other two clerics starts wrapping the chains around the Aranus, um, locking them with their own devices. Uh, she shouldn't be able to get away at this point, so you can remove those those shackles if you want. I nudge uh, Kevin Moore and I say, Divine Sense? Um, yeah, sure. Um, I think they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, we have gotten it one important information from her. Um, they're seeking to replace one of the bishops with one of their own or something like that. So one of the bishops is probably scheduled to be killed somehow in an accident or anything. So maybe, maybe the arch guard. The, the ar so yeah, the, so the archbishop is, sounds like their target, so it seems to you guys. And right now they have one of their other men, Bishop Cern, um, as the right hand to, to High Inquisitor Manic of the city. Um, the, the clerics, um, the clerics say... Did you just say that he sent somebody with CERN to High Inquisitor Manic? Hmm? I heard CERN and Inquisitor Manic. CERN is the right hand of Inquisitor Manic, Kilia said. Yes. Okay, never mind. Um, I thought I heard something that the guards yeah. were saying. CERN is the one that's currently alive and the, and the, and the, the person that was talking to Kilia to the to the airness in her in the memory um and 
the pal the not the paladin the the acolyte warrior that you have tied up says the person that she described was CERN in the memory. And he's currently the right hand to Inquisitor Manic. Um, the the chords, uh, the clerics of chord nod. They, uh, one, the, the older one says, I'm not sure if we can do anything about that currently since it's out of our order and we're kind of second place in this town um i if these fine young men he points to the individuals in the corner will testify for us then we could probably make some headway but i don't know how soon that will be we'll able to do that I don't know. Maybe we need more evidence. I mean, the 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 individuals in the corner, you know, are are agreeing to help, but how quickly this can happen, they're not sure. Um, I have a feeling that this CERN will not go to court. There will be consequences if you go that route. Kilia says, they're not going to go down very easily, um, even with this evidence. Um, it's possible we might have to take, cut the, cut the head off of the snake. Um, but... I don't know, says Kilia. This is, orders like, like this are beyond me. I lived on a mountain <laughs> in a cave, so I'm not used to this. I'm sorry. All right, no so problem. the clerics um get like a, a large uh, ornate chest, a really big chest, and they're like, we're going to put her in here. She's not going to be able to go out. Um, have you, t you guys taken your shackles back yet? I will do that as they're putting her into the chest. Okay. You see the chest is also inscribed with, like, um, very um, blocky, runic um, sigils on it. Um, they, they put her in. Um, you remove the shackles, and they, they close the lid on her. And they, they wrap that with chain as well, and they put her um, in a cart. We will try to get some more information out of her um, and let you know what we've learned. Uh, in the meantime, and sh they look around, maybe you guys should get some rest. And maybe once you get some rest, we can figure out the next step to go from here soon. Yes, I could use some meditation. Hmm. Um, Kilia, like, at this point, has, like, a small sack over her shoulder. So, where are you guys staying? Dragon. Um, Dragon's Nest. Mind if I tag along? I'm not staying in here. <laughs> sure. Certainly. Right. Awesome. I haven't, I haven't had, um, I haven't been around that group for a while, so that should be fun. Do you have money? I have a little bit. Gets me by. Here, take this. And I give her 10 gold. So you can actually get a decent room and good meal. Alright, thank you very much. She kind of throws her arm around, uh, she throws her arm around Kyoroi. This should be an adventure. She ruffles your hair, Kiroi. Yeah. You still gotta fight, figure out a way to give you sight. Eh, it could be a long-term goal. Just, you know. Fort Granite wasn't built overnight. First the god punched a mountain. <laughs> so what I'm hearing is we need to find a god to punch her to fix her eyesight. <laughs> 
I laugh at that thought too. <laughs> that's that's what I'm getting out of this. That's that's what you're getting out of this. Um, um, Kilia says, "I wouldn't go that far," but. Um, and she, you know, when, after the airness is packed up, she, you know, starts walking with you guys back to the dragon's nest. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to stop it there for now. Um, for her, you guys get... Times four guards... 100. Okay. I still think the after book that the right way is to actually reincarnate her. She might become a dragonborn, but she can learn chronomatic. <laughs> Um, while you're while walking, you're... um, Kilia kind of just slips her hand into yours, Kilroy. I might need a little help getting around inanimate objects. I bumped into a pole the other day by accident. That's okay. Just, uh, grab the crack of my arm and we can guide you. Yeah, thank you. Um, she starts telling you a little bit about, um... Kiroi, her brother, uh, about how he's very good at what he does. <laughs> Just the clothing designer? Yep, he's the tailor. From what I hear, because I can't see what he makes, um, it's very beautiful. Like one time he made this um, very exquisite uh, silver dragon costume for a bard called the Ice Queen. It's very detailed. It was made out of like very fine, like crystal and diamond. Very expensive. You know what else can make that? His magic. Yeah, yeah, I guess that he could, but you know, he likes what he does. He really does. I wouldn't take that away from him. Some people are just born to make clothing and are very happy about it. That's how much XP you guys got. Oh, damn. Yeah, the Aranus with four people was worth a, quite a bit. Oh, nice. She continues to uh, chat with you guys, just saying, you know, where she's, you know, just asking you guys where have you traveled, where have you been. Um... Grandma's had stories for days for her. <laughs> she really, like, enjoys, actually, as you guys get closer to the, um, to the end, she really, like, he, she really listens intently to you, Ramus. Like... She hasn't been around the Easter continent much, so she's just trying to get a feel of, like, what it's like on the other side, where it's a lot more civilized. In comparison to the Elgore as well. describing things in terms of what they look like, and then being like, oh, no, you can't, you don't know that. She, she's like, it's fine. You can describe what they look It's very interesting. I imagine in my head what they look like. Um, and I, she, she does say, when I do do my um, mind ransack ability, I, do, I can see what things look like from memory. Okay. So you can kind of sort of see? Yeah, pretty much. Um... Sometimes it takes me a little while to connect um, a description to what I've seen in my head. Um, because 
sometimes it's the first thing I've seen something like that. Like, um, like a sextant. I never knew what one was. And then I ransacked a sailor's mind. And it's like, oh, it's that, it's that tube thing, angled thing they use to navigate. Is that what a sextant is? Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, I kind of just get set to do that. Ah, yeah, <laughs> it's, um, it's a navigation tool, apparently. But, you know, it wouldn't huh. do me any good. Cool. Um, are you talking about this elf? Or are you just thinking, like, <laughs> if we turn her into an elf, or she get her eyesight back? Um, but yeah, she describes her time, um, on the mountain and studying after, you know, beneath, uh, her master and, you know, it, it, the training took years, uh, to complete for her. Ramis will, uh, ask her curious questions about it. Okay. Um, there are lots there of are things, lots of like, trying to sense, like, first they gave them lemmings to try to sense like their auras and stuff her training was a little different because she was blind so they oh, get okay. a few blind get... people but not as many as you think okay and she is awakened she is awakened she is part of the order Their of the boss, awakened or, uh, the big kahuna is that guy um if you're I'm talking about name. uh grandmaster liang Oh. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I trained. Um, I trained under his master. Um, only those yeah. that reach the highest positions get to train directly under, uh, Grandmaster Liang. But he, he was in the temple I trained, under. Okay. Under. Interesting. Um. Yes, devils are also fiends. In one level, I can bind. A devil to serve and must serve me in exactly what I tell them to. <laughs> That'd be oh, cool. shit. <laughs> All right. So one, hours. Level from, so, one level from now, you can just bind any devil we find and get them and to the, answer our questions? Yes. And just tell, tell, tell me everything. <laughs> wow, that's a really wow, that's good ability. ability. Yeah. They need to be completely constrained uh, during the whole spell, and it takes a while to cast it. But you just, get Catch some That's okay. It we takes an hour to cast it. Lots of rope. All right. So our next game will be um, the twelfth. Oh, great! So that means we can play the following the following two weeks because I'll be in Gen Con that next week. So yeah, awesome. Uh, I can. There is a big risk I can't, but I will really try to. I'm coming home like in the night on the Saturday, like very early, so I'll okay. try to sleep. Well, but, if you need yeah. to sleep, sleep, dude. It's fine. Yeah, but that's what I mean. I don't really know if I'm home. Like, I need to sleep at least some hours, and we will see. I can't promise I will be there, but I will try. Okay. 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 Cool. I may or may not be there as well. I'm going back to the motherland at some point, and I have to check exactly what date that is. All right, that's cool. Just let me know. I'll, I'll probably, probably post probably. in the middle of the week to make sure you guys can make it or not. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. I will see you guys maybe in two weeks. Thanks. Yep. Sounds good. Right. Awesome. Right. See you then. Yep. See ya. Nice see ya. session.